Where you at, Conair? Do it. Where you at? Look at him lurking behind the box over there. Just creeping. Always. Just lurking. Always. Spend the entire day behind here. <laughs> and back in the warehouse. Awesome. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back. We are live again for another system build for you guys. People are already asking in chat, what is R&D? We need to make up the bunny forward for what R&D actually means. It um, means ride and die, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> ride and die for all the PC components we have here. Uh, we have all of the Game DS stuff that they sent out. Some of you might have heard of this brand before, maybe not. Um, but they have a... I've never heard of them before. A height type competitor, I suppose. They have a very similar S case. You guys will see in some short form content so getting we know, posted here We know shortly. some people can be like, oh, look at them doing another hype build. But <laughs> we're not. We'll have to show you guys here shortly. There are some, like a couple of nuanced differences that's like, you know, right off the bat a little different, but you can tell some of the styling choices were for sure. Uh, we've seen them before in the industry, that's for sure. Uh, they also have some RGB fans and a power supply that's a thousand watt. What was the name of this? A name for it somewhere. Uh, that is the Helios 1000 watt power supply. Helios! Uh, we'll be doing a 7700X AMD system in there with 32 gigabytes of the Kingston DDR5. Uh, we also have paired with that the Kingston Renegade Chode. 2 terabyte M.2. We love Kingston very, very much. Kingston, I'm curious about these fans. They look, I am, like, they I am look too. like they might be kind of interesting. You know, these it's like look, a subtle RGB to it. I've definitely seen some similar fans. They at least have like a controller hub here. Mm hmm. Uh, so, you know, that's, it's decent. Mm -hmm. The frames look chunky on them, too. Mm, yeah. You see that? Mm, yes. Yes, indeed. Mm. So, yeah, these might actually be pretty good. We'll see. We will see. Chode Lint, my favorite name. Chode. How's it going? All right. Hey, all right. Brandon Let's... Jernan, I promote your product all the time. I'm in love. I'm out of PCs. You guys are uh, way better than Dell. Thank you, sir. We try to be. Try to be. Uh, they make it easy for us sometimes. Yes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. All yeah, right. You guys yeah, are the right. best. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully everyone's doing great on this Thursday. We're just now getting started into all of this. It's been a pretty quick week. I feel like as we get into the holidays, <sighs> the weeks just fly by quicker and quicker. Agreed. Just piling up with more bills, more projects, more things to manage. It's always a bills? fun time. Yeah, too many bills. Too bills. many bills. Bills, too many bills need bills. to stop. Nobody wants bills. All that nonsense. All of that nonsense. Hey, Roy. We haven't seen the MSI Pro Series boards I a know. whole lot. Hardly ever used this. They're kind of cool. That's why I chose it. You know, it's a Pro Series, but this is definitely more in like their like mid tier. This is more yeah. like a tough. I would call it more board. of a semi pro. Yeah. <laughs> semi, semi, semi pro board. Semi pro. Yeah, this is more their, reminiscent. Their, their MPG line is definitely way better. Yeah, that almost competes with like a Strix lineup. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is about a tough board. Still very nice. Still plenty of M.2 slots, plenty of expansion. Chunky M.2 heatsink here at the top. Overall, very nice. Boom. No pre installed IO shield, though. I feel like that, that's. Yeah, uh, that, that kind of. Of all of like, the marks of what a high end motherboard is, I feel like we should just see that on every board. Even low end. Make know, that a right? standard. Just stop. Just, yeah, put, just, just put the IO shield on the board. Don't make it a separate thing. We need that. Seventy-seven hundred x I'm going to bring this into frame. I'm just going to leave it out here for people to speculate and ask questions about. Speculate. They're going to be like, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. My life be like. Uh, what's the best way to do it? Black and silver build? Can't really. Um, um, I mean, the motherboard's black and silver. There's a lot of black and silver components. Yeah, but the faces. case itself, the case is red. So I'd say more of like a black and red. Look at that big black nipple. <laughs> one big nipple on the front. Just a big old It butthole. still looks surprisingly 3D even on camera. If you couldn't see like the panel seam here, like this, the shading and the paint. You would on think there. it's an actual fighter jet yeah, just flying right yeah, towards no. you. You, could, you start hearing the the cool. sounds. You get the nom flashbacks. The nom. <laughs> At first, I thought you said non flashbacks. Non -flashbacks. I'm like, what is a non flashback? Like, oh, nom. Vietnam. Vietnam. Get those Vietnam flashbacks. Did you all get a haircut? I got a haircut Bow last now. weekend. Yeah. Bow now. I look fresh. 
Bow now. I did not. grow a little too long. <clears throat> but you did in like the last week or so, right? That's two weeks ago. Since two, last time? Two, yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. If we streamed last week. Two weeks week, ago or something like that, that yeah. Checks out, checks out. Something like that. Hey, good looking. Get that CCR playing in the background for flashbacks. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you get that song? <laughs> You get that song Insert playing. all of the generic military going to war. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that looks like the front of a plane. Exactly. Look at that. That looks so badass. The paint job. I wish I knew off the top of my head when this was painted. Because the case is from 2006. Yeah, the case is old as... The project that was meant to happen with this painted case was also meant to happen, like, gotta be 2010, something like that. So 13 years later, got revamped into a sleeper water-cooled build. Um, so yeah, the artist that did this, I, again, I wish I knew the specifics, but he did an incredible job at... This is all, like, hand airbrushed. It's very satisfying. Too bad it's not magnetic. It is a little bit. You keep it on top of the magnet all day? Uh, do you ever use the magnetizer thing out there? Does that work? Uh, we, we, I think there's only like one. I don't even know where it's at. Probably Chris has it. Probably. I don't need it. I've got the same case in blue. Awesome. This Alienware. What is the actual name of this? You have to remind me, Chosen. What is the actual name of this case from Alienware? I am blanking on that. Per uh, Perchette. <laughs> Perchette. Oh, I guess this is... F. That kind of looks like an F, huh? Yeah. I think Maybe it's the first. P, it's yeah, P, P the period. Initial. Then Frechette. Frechette. <laughs> Frechette. P, P Frechette. And this is 20. Frechette. So maybe it was airbrushed back in 2020. 2020. Maybe. But either way, it's a very old case. Oh, thank you the for lads, subscribing. Aztecia, how's it going? I'm going to move this. Wait, am I done with it? Thanks for joining us on the stream. I got the end of that too. Uh, I think I'm done with it. Uh, looks automotive quality paint. Yeah, dude, this is uh, incredibly well done. Definitely on an automotive In level. Dubitably. All the little details and then a super nice clear coat going over it. In it dubitably. definitely takes a lot of time to get this much detail into a case. Ryan, hello, hello. Oh, God. All right, here is our case for the day. Area 51, 720p. This is not a height case. Okay. And it's also not square. Actually, you can, you can barely tell that that's like trapezoid. Yeah, you. <clears throat> so this is probably like a patent thing, I'd imagine. So, I mean, right off the bat, we have no. to say what this remnant like. Yeah. It looks like a height case. Yeah. Very height specific. And I think to uh, jump through a few hoops here, they had to change the shape just a bit. And if at some point we lay it on its back, they can probably see a little better. Yeah. So it, it, it has two options, of course. You can have it st stand up like normal. Yeah. Blah, 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 like everything. And then, it, you know, it gives you these legs on here. So then you can have it lay like this. And this is the toaster oven configuration. If you, yeah, if you want your computer like this, then you can remove these, I think, too, right? Thank you for the sub. I forgot, I couldn't see your name in that time, but I appreciate you. Um, but there, yeah, yeah so you, you, can, you can see the angle this, on it Yeah, so this like is that. kind of like, it, it, they couldn't do the Y60 or Y40 straight 90 degrees, so they ended up doing this little trapezoid shape. So just adding a few more angles in there, <laughs> just trying to change it up a little bit. So this is the front, you have like Excuse a... Me. Sloped front thing going on there. It's actually very interesting. Yeah, very, yeah, I got very a bunch weird. of subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Hey, well, we really appreciate okay. it. Now let's take uh, it. Who apart. makes the case? This is the Game DS case. They Game sent us Dias. the case and some fans for review. So we are doing our R and D stream. Checking it. I mean, the way it opens is still that's, is. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I mean, the way it opens is pretty cool. Salas Sabbath. Thank pretty you for cool. the sub. I appreciate you. Yeah, no, that's. Uh, I props yeah. to them. I guess that's that's pretty cool. I am a fan of hinges for doors. Hinges, yes. That's the Fantex way. Yes, indeed. I do like that. Is this easily removable? Yeah, that one looks like it pops up and off. Yeah, this one does. Too. Okay, yeah, you just got. It was just harder to see. Yeah. Oh, but you might have to. <laughs> Unless it fits in this panel gap. See, I have to go up and not out. Oh yeah. Is this panel gap wide enough, or do you have to pop off? It'd have to be this whole. Large yep, so no, unless you, you have so, to yeah. take it off, you have to unscrew But you probably don't like what that. About that, side? that one, you don't need to. Yeah, yeah I'd say I, don't, I wouldn't need to really take that off. 
Oh yeah, that one's fine. This one should be good. Hold the case down. Or maybe they don't. Maybe come not. Off. Maybe they don't. Maybe. They, oh wait, it's slowly going. Roast a turkey in there. That's. <laughs> there we go. Tis the season. Tis the season. Damn, that one was hard. Wow. Okay, we got it off. Mission accomplished. We made it into the That's case. Fucking team. Uh, one thing to note, though, I don't know if those fans <clears throat> that were on the box loose, wherever they were, I don't know if those came with the case. They're the same ones. Did they come with the case? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. I, I, it's hard to say. I didn't tear it apart. I want to say that they did because they're not in any. We didn't open these boxes. And this is the case accessories. Mm -hmm. These aren't RGB, though. Yeah, they are. They it's are. the same inner ring. Oh, wow. I double checked. Interesting. I didn't even. They almost don't even look like RGB fans from the outside. Ah, double. So there's a chance uh, that these are two fans that are both. Can't draw your knife. Uh, these are Ooh. included with the system, it appears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. I don't know, Connor. I've, I've felt much cheaper fans than this before. Oh, hey, that's not bad at all. I have <clears throat> much, many a cheap fan. This is pretty many good. Many a cheap fan. Many a cheap. And it's really stealthy for being RGB. Just the black blades, no edge glow. Just really simple looking. Actually, I dropped a screw, but where did it go? Classy. Oh, there it is. Just <clears throat> less is more sometimes. Hey, -o. What up, Chris and Cooner? How's it going, Hammer? How easy. Oh. Hopefully you're out. Oh, wow. That's scary sound. That's fine. That's we didn't, fine. We didn't run out of uh, little things, little nubs at the top there. Right. I mean, like, it really is. I I, I mean, it's just, it's 100%. Like, even when you, when you take everything off, you're like, okay, I know where I've seen this case before. <laughs> the sleds are almost everything. the exact. Everything. Almost the exact. But this? Drive days. These are kind of nice. Cable clips are, yeah, yeah. they're interesting. Oh, I meant to show you the cable clips that they're doing in uh, the O11 Evo XL. They have like a new yeah. mounting bar that oh, you yeah. like snap I've done, off. Yeah, I've, I've, already, I've already built a handful of them. In there. Oh, hell yeah. We've sold a bunch of uh, XLs already. Oh, awesome. We I go through no them. Idea. <clears throat> but I really do like them because like, yeah, you just, once you put everything in, you just get them tight, in the channel then. Just, yeah, you just no, lock it, it's super clean. Uh, Chris, did you do all the painting for that case? I wish, dude. I am not this talented. I did do the sleeper build on the inside. <coughs> it's, yes. Oh, oh, can you see it? Not with our contrast. <laughs> like I'm really hoping they can see inside of this case because we cannot. This TV is trash. With the back. Uh, yeah, you can see a little more. Right in there. Hey, for the subscription, Rajalia. Yeah, it's totally hidden away. Once those panels are on, you'll yeah. never know how cool it is. So, very stealthy, matte black tubing, <coughs> water-cooled loop actually runs surprisingly well with all the specs inside. It's a 4070 Ti and a 13700K in this bad boy. Nicholas, what are the specs of the PC you're building right now over here? Uh, that is a 7700X, 32 gigs of memory, and a 2 terabyte 7700XT graphics card. 7700, yeah, yeah, there, no, uh, no, wait. Yeah, 7700XT, yep. I already forgot what I'm doing. Uh, good push-pull config, exactly. You pretty much have to. There's so much limited airflow going throughout here that just to make sure we're pulling air through these thicker radiators, limited you get push -pull airflow. Up. Why not? Also helps fill in the case a little bit more because we're using a shorter GPU that didn't take up a whole lot of space. Uh, we did also cram another 120 radiator up top here. That's the same thickness as that one. And for a little added extra airflow, you can still pop open the store. And inside is... Direct access to that fan right there, pretty much unhindered by anything else. The unhindered. front has this little grill right here, so it's a little different, but overall very, very good. Hey, X Factor, how's it going? Thank Oi. you for the raid. Oi! How's it going? How's it going? Uh, do you guys have budget builds? We do have builds in a lot of different price points. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, you can go through the configurator or our ready to ships on our website and see what works for your price point. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to Drew in the corner. He's more than happy to help out. The with little any floating head. The little floating head. I'm sure he'll be in chat here soon as well. Little floating head. Yep, yep. X Factor, how you doing, man? Happy to see you around. How this is case your has like a ton of room to do whatever you want. What were you What were you playing before you just hopped off? 
That's kind of. I love that we call it the toaster hay. oven now because we can't even remove that hinge if we tried. Yeah, it's a it's a toaster. It this is, is a actually toaster. a toaster oven. A toaster oven. I should have actually named the stream the toaster oven build. The toaster oven build. Missed opportunity. Hoo ya! Missed <clears throat> opportunity. Did that work? Yes. Yes, it worked. How's it going, man? Hoi! Hoi! Uh, trash? Cake is having issues today. Yeah, we'll Why? see if it uh, hasn't What's... updated on our end yet, so we'll see. We got the notification mean? saying the host happened, so I trust it. Or is it like supposed to have some like big notification or something? No, we can, we got the notification, so we might then, be good. Well, then what's missing up? What are we missing? Uh, just the viewer data count and stuff on our end. Oh. But I'm sure it'll update. It's a mission. Uh, now people are DCing today and stuff. Interesting. And all these streaming platforms. No one can get it right. I know, right? <laughs> We're so no, close they, so it's far. It's like none of them, they just, they just can't communicate with each other. So they close yet so far, but we appreciate Two it. Two steps dude. forward and 25 steps back. Uh-huh. I'm installing a Been GPU. Been seeing a great helpful work video. Uh, work y'all been doing for the people in the community. We appreciate it. It's only because of you guys watching us, sharing our content, pushing all of that. It's a huge help. We love doing these systems, helping out people, all the different streamers and content creators out there, building up a cool family of people. Family. I'm pre-installing the GPU SAG bracket. You should use the ROG Evangelion set in that Evangelion. case. Evangelion. Yes, I would love to have the Evangelion well, set. Well, I mean, they have the Evangelion case. They do. It's the ROG Hyperion. It, see, it, it's huge. Unfortunately, I, I would have to, if, if I got the Evangelion set, I'd have to also build in the case. There's yeah. no way I couldn't. Yeah, you need the that case. You would need that case. Probably top three of the cooler parts of that set. Oh, and it's bigger than like, it's that, yeah. case, that Hyperion case is so big. But it, yeah, it looks awesome. It's hard to not want to use it. Uh, I live like 25 minutes from you guys. I need to come visit you. Absolutely, dude. Come stop by our showroom. Say hi to Corbin. Spec out a system, and we'd love to chat with you. Oh, I did that wrong. Just... What's up? I was here last week and had a blast. Welcome back. Hey, -o. John Tion Games. At least someone had fun, right? <laughs> Thank you for returning. We appreciate it. We got a couple of interesting systems here. I'm showing off one of my they recent projects here. In a, this is a sleeper water-cooled build in Alienware, Area 51. Yeah. And then Connor is working on some Game DS stuff that some was sent to game us. Game DS. They're kind of like a newer-ish company in the industry. Uh, very heavily inspired by I do like, some I, other I like, brands, but we'll look past that. I like this swing door. I got my, finger, I got my fingerprints cool. all over it already. But That's okay. We got cleaner for I like that. The, yeah, I like this swing door. They also changed this up. This is different. Oh, this I guess in theory, all of this is different because they don't default vertical mount. Mm -hmm, they don't so default it, it vertical mount. So it can vertical mount. They did like screws for it, mm -hmm. but they didn't give you anything to vertical mount. So that'd be a huge difference between this and a height case is that this doesn't not come with your vertical mount. Hardware. We got to throw some fans on the bottom of this. Yeah, no, definitely. We got plenty as well. Yeah. All of these uh, Aeolus, a Aeolus M3 fans. Now how... You just pop it off. Oh, you do. Our running joke, it's not white exactly. We you got the black and red build over there, and then of course this very unique fighter jet. No. These aren't thing. normal screw holes. Where's that box of uh hello made it back kind of late? Uh no, not a problem, dude. We're just getting started. It was kind of a late start for us as well today. We've just been busy. Oh Lots yeah, we we purposely started today. late. We yeah, I mean doing some stuff. Did this come out of the panel? Or is that meant to be? Uh, yeah, I think it's part of like oh, the, that's the it's part of the part. lock. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely, man. Has anyone told you you look like the streamer called Scump? I have heard that before. I've also skunk? heard I Scump. You look like a skunk. It's like old optic <laughs> you streamer. <stupid>. A skunk. <laughs> um, and then I've also heard uh, oh, what's his face? D Wolf. D Wolf. He's a is or was a Facebook streamer. I'm not entirely sure. Facebook streamer? You can. Who wants to be a Facebook streamer? <laughs> Not many people anymore. <laughs> Not many. Z Wolf's on kick now. Hell yeah. I figured he'd be somewhere else by now. No one anymore. Well, yeah. I figured. The purge happened. 
I don't know what that means. Everyone was gone. Everyone just left Facebook for Kick or Twitch, but then Twitch did their thing, so everyone kind of landed on Kick. Kickity kick. Cookity awesome. quick. I'm glad don't someone can kind of, you know, bridge the gap and cater towards the creators for once. Um, we're just gonna set that there. Now. Uh, what do you prefer, AMD or NVIDIA at the moment? Interesting fan. It's actually a really, really good time Ooh, to yeah, ask that a... question. Maybe three, four years ago, everyone would be fanboying over NVIDIA and an Intel. Um, but recently, but AMD has been actually doing some really, really good stuff. Really Hell, good. Yeah, they have. Uh, 7,000 series. I mean, every, even since the 5,000 series, AMD has been extremely viable and a great, uh, again, like a way to bridge the gap between like a mid-tier and a high-end water pool or just high-end system in general. Um, yeah, GPU-wise, they compete really well. CPU-wise, some games will actually run better. Uh, some of that 3DB cache for their X3D chips, super beneficial to games. Tarkov being one of those, poorly optimized game, but uh, if you actually run an AMD chip, you'll notice some better performance over even a higher end Intel chip. So, some See, use cases for sure. You have to use these long. You have to use like these long radiator screws. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because you only mount it on that side. Yeah. Don't you like how the top fan mount bracket is also the exact same as yes. that one other case? Every, everything is. Yep. Everything is borderline the exact same as a different case. Yeah, right now if I had to build a new system, not like stupid crazy spec, I would honestly have a 7900X or 7800X from an AMD CPU and then a GPU for AM, uh, NVIDIA, so like a 4070 Ti or 4080. I think that's the sweet spot for me right now. And I was in the same boat that maybe three, four years ago I would have never been like, I want an AMD CPU. Yeah, right. <laughs> And just hop on the bandwagon of AMD is bad or AMD is super hot or you know, something. I'm, I'm actually th I'm thinking about upgrading my system. Maybe I should look into getting a, an AMD CPU. Because mm -hmm. I have I haven't I mean yeah I mean all their X like yeah, there's, seventy there's stuff, stuff yeah, seven thousand awesome. series. Their stuff is awesome yeah. right now. Uh, we're actually using one of their 7700 7, XT GPUs over here from AMD. Yeah, this one this is an AMD build. Clean. Full AMD build we're doing right now. Uh, did you hear AMD is going to make AM4 CPUs again? Yes, I did <laughs> over here that AMD is going back to AM4. Uh, I believe to refresh it with X3D the paint SKUs. It's coming off of these screws. Really? Yeah. I am not. And then also, yeah. I'm not entirely surprised. <laughs> um, but yeah, so AMD is kind of going a couple steps backwards here, I suppose, which for some people might actually be a really good upgrade option, you know, if you're still rocking AM4. You really don't want to, you know, you're not pushing your CPU too heavily, kind of do that middle tier upgrade of an X3D chip. So maybe some of the games or programs you're running on will benefit from that V-cache. We'll see. It's still, still strange to keep three generations of CPUs alive at the same time, though. Just, Seems like some people the over there are bored. Uh, with Unreal Engine 5 games coming out, what are your minimum specs in your opinion? Uh, just based off the engine, I don't know that I can say specs. Because I feel like games can use the same engines, but be either yeah, like a AAA like, I mean, studio game or also, they could be uh, like also a, really depends on like, you know, gas mileage and what gas prices are. If you want a V8 or a V6. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, a good V4 with a turbo on it's nice. Turbo V. <laughs> a turboed four-cylinder, why not? <laughs> a turboed four-cylinder. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Look at the Volkswagen Jettas. Uh, I think some of those are turboed four cylinders. 5700 X3D is nice, but I think a 5550 X3D is technically pointless. Yeah, it might not be as like a, I don't know, as drastic of a, a difference or noticeable to the people that would be trying to upgrade from their existing hardware. You just lost a feet or a foot right there. Oh no. What? Oh no. <laughs> a little bit of rubber? Yeah, it just popped right off. A little bit of rubber popped right off. Uh, but minimum specs for Unreal Engine 5 games, yeah, uh, I really can't say. It's hard to say until it all starts coming out. We have to learn for ourselves. Yeah, if you had a like a specific game in mind, that might help a little bit more. Um, but at least in the mid-tier world, there's a lot of great <coughs> options now. From NVIDIA, you got the 4070, 4070 Ti. AMD, you have the 7700, 7800, X, or yeah, not X3Ds, those are CPUs. See, I still have that problem now because AMD has their 7000 CPUs and 7000 yep, GPUs. It's, it's, I now want to like just merge all of the numbers together. Merge. It's all the same. It is all the same. All the same. It does get very, very confusing now. All right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. 
Looks you know like the new what? AM4 CPUs are just going to be budget versions of the 5800X3D. That would make sense. Still, I feel like it's... There can't be that many people this is benefiting. Like, it's cool that they're doing it, and they're not, like, completely just, you know, leaving everyone in the dust and saying, all right, guys, have fun, buy an X670 board and spend $500, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, opinion on the new O11 case. Can we see a build in that one next week? Uh, are we talking about the Vision? I believe so. Uh, the, about the one that's is, all glass? The Vision is super cool. Um, as for a build on stream, probably not going to happen. We don't we, have more of them. We don't have any more cases. We could show you guys the build that we did do. Just like I'm showing you guys this one here. We can swap that out in a bit. Yeah, we can even turn it on and mm -hmm. show the funness. Uh, Thomas Arden says, I'm going to be building my own PC for the first time, and I'm going to be using your side build model. Do you know what the, which one that is? What's up? Which model that is? Be using your side build. Your Cybel model as reference? I don't mm, What no. name is that close to that we have? Uh I'm not entirely sure which uh Yeah, some of the uh, some of the is. yeah, some of the but, RTSs. We don't get all I mean when we build them we just get like part lists mm -hmm. and sometimes we get names and I know sometimes the names change when they go on our website. Mm -hmm. So I'm not hundred percent sure. But Thomas, if that or Raiden's Ryzen, it's a Ryzen seven build. Uh, but yeah, regardless of the specs, dude, that's awesome. Super excited that you're getting the PC building. It's a fun hobby for sure. Um, take your time, you know, no rush. Make sure the cables look nice. Definitely test your hardware before you actually assemble it all. <laughs> I feel like breadboarding is still like a good idea if you're a first time builder. Before you go <laughs> running all your wires, you can at least know that you don't have to then undo right. all your wires if something is wrong with it. So. See, that's what, when I built my first PC, I didn't do any of that breadboarding stuff, but I, and I was so scared. I'm like, I don't think this is going to turn on. I had to like back away. And exactly. I was, I was so, so surprised. Like, oh, hey, it works. The good old put your motherboard on the motherboard box, slap your CPU in and try to post off the board is a great example. Um, make sure it all works. Just like a quick test that you can do before throwing everything into the case and make sure it runs uh, well. Um, I saw the video for the O11 Vision. Thermals weren't too bad considering there's no top exhaust. Yeah, I mean, the case still has the three bottom, three in the back. Um, the three at the top are just pulling more of that air out, so it's not exactly adding to the airflow of the case. Yeah, um, and they do give you the, the room for the two exhaust fans in the back. Exactly, and then you also have that additional one, so it's still going to kind of create that shape for the airflow there. Yeah, I liked, I liked building in it, the O11 uh, mm -hmm. Vision. I mean, there's not really much of a difference compared to the, the regular and other O11s. It's yeah. borderline the same thing, just extra glass added to it. It's but a the, style But the glass is, oh, it's so clean and oh, yeah. so pretty. Um, so yeah, I definitely Did you I see there's still like one it. more new O11 case coming out? There's another new O11? Yep. What is it? RGB. RGV? RGB. Like, it's just the O11 Evo, the Evo RGB. There's the Evo Vision, Evo XL, and now the Evo RGB. What, what RGB is different? They just is. add a bunch of RGB to oh, it? Oh, yeah. Anywhere, any seam that two panels meet, they were like, there's a line of there RGB. was RGB there. And so yeah. on the windows, like the top and bottom of the glass, RGB, the vertical strip that's always been there, RGB. Um, I think there's one that goes down along the that top just, of it as well. That just makes sense, you know? <laughs> makes <laughs> why, sense. Why not? Just send it. Just full RGB right. everything. Where's the... When in doubt, RGB will add frames. Let's look at this fan controller. That's not... I've seen worse. Um, so here's interesting connectors. Three pin. What is this? An extender? Three pin with three pin? Can you link these if you have multiple of? LED in, LED out. Yeah, oh, so yes. it's got to be if yeah. you have multiple links. That's cool. But there's a. Criminally underrated stream. Thank you, dude. We appreciate you stopping LED by. LED one, LED one, fan five. And with respect to the Spitfire PC. I'm going to have to use two uh, So two this is the sleeper water-cooled build. Uh, this is a 13700K and a 4070Ti. 32 gigabytes of Kingston memory in there, and then everything else is just an EK water-cooling loop. Uh, minus the radiators, there's some thicker alpha cool ones. Uh, but actually a surprisingly well-performing uh, system, especially for a case with pretty much no airflow. Thank you for the subscription, Victor. I appreciate you. 
Um, but yeah, so not a whole lot of airflow. We weren't gonna go and mess with like the top panel here, which I can't really, maybe in the top down. Yeah, you can see it in the, here, we'll, we'll do a little switcheroo real quick. Switcheroo. Uh, top down. So there's actually another illustration at the top here of the actual pilot which is absurdly detailed for an airbrush design. Uh, so we weren't gonna go and drill holes and add airflow to this case. So for what light modding had to happen, it actually performs really well. Nothing thermally throttles, nothing gets too, too hot. Um, too, too. Too, too hot. Too, too. Uh, what's the processor in the Alienware? This is a 13700K. Seven. 13700K. Hey, right. uh, what time is it there in the desert here? It's 23.36. Uh, it is currently 3.37 p.m. So in military, it is 15.37. What time is it? 3.37. 3.37? So military, you add 12 hours, I think. I'm pretty sure. Fairly confident. Um... Oh, LED. Uh, I'll go now. It's getting pretty late here in Denmark. LED Great stream, in. though. Awesome, dude. Thank you for stopping by. What's this BTN? BTN? Motherboard? RGB in? No, that's the LED in for the that motherboard. The PMW is for the, the fans. fans. Then LED out will be to the next Daily controller. Chain. We have BTN as the last Bluetooth one. Bluetooth yeah. nonsense. Bluetooth networking. <laughs> was there a little manual or anything with that? In the uh, box? I don't think there was. Interesting. I don't think there was. I don't see it. Snippy snip. Snippy snip. You snippy snip. Safety knife. Okay, I'm just gonna leave all that there. Maybe I should. Was there a Manuel? Use okay. that. Keep that. Um, let's do that one. Oh, BCN equals button. Yeah, that makes sense. Button. Oh, if you have a case. If a game oh. disc case has a button on it, it would yeah. probably go uh, to that, that makes so sense. that it has on So you can case. plug it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you smart. That makes you, sense. You, you smart. One of those smart ones, aren't you? <laughs> You're one of them thinking types. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm a man of action. Uh, can't wait to get my PC. Love from Florida. Hell yeah, dude. Grayson, how's it going? What kind of Love system did you get? Florida. You guys make it look easy. We've been doing this for too, too long. Too, too. Too, too. Too, too. Uh, what is two, a good two, CPU two. for gaming and recording? Uh, definitely a few good options there. Mid-range Intel, mid-range AMD. Uh, on the Intel side, the current i5s, if you're on a bit more of a budget, really good. Uh, the 13 and the 14600s, I'm correct in that? Yeah. 14600K, mm -hmm. great CPU. Um, on AMD's side, you've got the 7700X, 7800X, maybe the X3D chips even are better for that scenario. Um, if yeah, Virgie, Virgie says uh, the high end for the 13900K, can't go wrong with a 13900K. I'm gonna say I want to go dual PC, but I can't afford what I want right now. I'll go through you guys <laughs> and I get fun. Shout out to my homie Max Rhymes. Oh yeah, dude, we love Max Rhymes. We need to get him out here for another uh, project. DJ stream. Uh-huh. Grayson, my dad ordered me a rad guy. A rad guy? Noise! Awesome. Yeah, we love a rad guy. Rad. Excited for you to get that system. That's rad, guy. That's rad. Mid-range, yeah, that 7700X or an R5-7600X is also solid. There you go. Do you know the rad guy specs off the top of your head? Uh, I do not. I need to familiarize myself with our uh, ready-to-ship lineup. It always changes though, and then Todd makes up the changing. most random names, and then someone in chat will be like, "What's the Minerva?" I'm like, "A what?" I, I honestly think like <laughs> you got a what we're, more we're at that point where yeah, like so many RTSs they're like random name generators. You just let now. AI you let AI choose the name. Yeah. You and let the looking, AI you're like, choose the what build? The heck? Uh, what are they selling? Any advice on upgrades? Let me pull up the rad guy real quick. Let me let me see. 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 Some of our RTSs 
Um, it is really hard to do upgrade whip. That's why I'm curious what it is. If it's a little bit more on the budget side, it might be a little bit more I think more it's difficult. a little bit more, it's a little more on the budget, like mid tier. Red guy, yeah, well, it's about budget. a Ryzen 5, 5500. Uh, the RX 5650, uh, 16 gigs of memory, upgradable. Um, yeah, what's, so basically a system like this. What's uh, the power supply? The 500 watt, that's kind yeah. of like 550 watt. Uh, so basically, to hit the lower end price point that we're trying to get there, we do have to use power supplies and stuff that are expect a little bit lower for that hardware. Um, basically, in a package of its own, it's a fantastic system. Um, but if you were to look to upgrade your, say, your graphics card or your CPU motherboard combo in the future, I would also recommend the power supply upgrade with that. Um, as for things that don't require a whole lot of effort, the memory, 16 gigs, is probably minimum these days mm -hmm. now. Um, some applications, 32, you might notice a big difference there. So running uh, quad channel memory in that case uh, might work out really well for you. Uh, CPU cooler is great. Uh, that 6650 XT is a great graphics Ooh. card. Definitely hold off on some, maybe next year, GPU releases could be interesting. This is interesting. Um, and then, yeah, there's also just a one terabyte M.2 in there. So if you ever need more storage, uh, you can probably drop another M.2 in there. MATX tough board. Two M.2 slots. Oh, right? uh, there should be two. Yeah. yeah. If not, you could always do like a two and a half inch. No problem, dude. Yeah, excited for you to get that system. Should be a lot of fun. What games are you plan on playing with it? Actually, this kind of goes for everyone in chat. What kind of games are we playing these days? I feel like the Star uh, Starfield hype is over. The Baldur's Gate hype is over. Mm -hmm. like, I'm back to... I, I, what's I, the next thing? I played Apex for a couple hours last night. Yeah, yeah. I saw Apex was popping up on stream. Post Malone was doing some kind of event. Yeah, he's, he's doing something. He I, did a closed uh, tournament with a bunch of people I, uh, that I knew of. I don't, I don't know much about the... I know he's doing it. I know it's a okay. Post Malone stream. Have you watched stuff. his stream before? I... He is nah, yeah. weirdly wholesome. Like it's well, I've it's heard, actually really I've heard entertaining he him, as a streamer. I've heard he himself is like a really nice, wholesome guy. Yeah, he's a good stream personality. Like if he wasn't a musician, he would absolutely do great. But I really, yeah, I really have no clue about like his streaming. You know me, I don't watch anybody yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't watch anybody stream. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking of going for a 6750 XT and a Ryzen 5700X, one terabyte, six gig memory, and yeah. a Ryzen or a Corsair 3000D. Yeah. Budget's around a thousand euros. I think that pretty much lands right about there. That's actually really similar to the specs of the uh, the red guy on our website. The other gentleman was saying that he purchased. So, you very, know, very similar specs right there. The way these fans are like very just like solid square and blocky. It's kind of nice. They're gonna look really good all up on each other and everything. <laughs> That's why I said like less is more. These fans being like such a generic like smooth face to them yeah. actually is pretty clean. A lot of fans are trying to do way too much these days. I'm very curious about the, the one little halo ring of RGB in there, how, how well that looks. You pick up but one fan, they're like, you want 12 infinity mirrors? <laughs> God, I, I, no. I, hate, no. I hate the infinity mirror craze right now. Everything's got to have infinity mirrors and so much mirrors. RGB. You want the mirrors on your case, on your fan, on your motherboard? Like, I don't like looking at my regular mirror. It doesn't mean <laughs> I don't want to look at 12 more on my PC. Uh, Warzone's my favorite, yeah, dude. Warzone is a, a fun one. I haven't really dove into Warzone since maybe the first couple of seasons of it. I haven't played but anything Call of Duty very, in very popular many a thing. year. Uh, some Fallout 4, Thomas Aiden. Fallout 4 is a good one. Some go going back, we're going back and playing some Fallout 4. There we they go. said modding the hell out of Fallout 4. When I get a PC, I'm going to do the same for previous games. Hell yeah. I love the Bethesda games yeah. with mods. Modding in a Bethesda game is like you get a game after the game. Yeah. <laughs> you play it one way through all the way the way it's supposed to be, and then like, yep. all right, let's have some fun. Exactly. Many hours of fun things to do. I remember when I uh, when I was still on console, when the Game of the Year version of Skyrim came out, mm -hmm. and it allowed mods on the Xbox. Um, the first mod I downloaded was the Kamehameha Wave, Goku's Kamehameha Wave. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like this level one character. I remember that back in the day. I'm level one character. I'm just like taking out yeah. dragons, <laughs> mods out of the sky. And I was like, this is this is the best. This is my life now. 
Kata says that's the build I did for my coworker's kid. All infinity mirrors, Neo Cube Infinity. You have infinity, infinity, yep, with infinity, infinity hub, infinity, with the infinity. <laughs> infinity. So he's like, oh, so yep. many. It's a fancy system. It looks really cool, but man, oh, yeah, they for look, like for crazes or like they trends look great. on cases, I just, I just don't want one in my house. <laughs> it's such a weird one. Yeah, look at those. Look at the way those fans came out. Uh, like, and Jack, hello there. How's it going, sir? It's kind of. It's pretty clean. I can't hate it. Yeah, the no. little bit of glow that's gonna happen there. Yeah, the fans are pretty clean for a brand that we've never, yeah. I've never really heard of, and I've never played yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, it passes. And did you see how much room is in there for like radiators? Uh, opinions on the new. Apex cases and fans? Hmm? APNX, I'm not entirely familiar with what that one is. I do not know what you speak of. Uh, your marketing guy hasn't filled out your about page. Uh, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, so that is our new website as of, I think, end of last week it was live. Uh, we're still very much I've trying still never to been uh, on <laughs> I haven't been go on the through new and website. fix a lot of little nuanced things. I think the about page is on that list. There, actually, there should be an update here soon. Tell them to stop slacking. There's a bunch of like little things on the website. Get shit done. Just need to be cleaned up a bit. But glad you're checking it out. If you have any questions, there's support on the site that's happy to help uh, Drew or anyone else that's available with your specs. Oh, I realized. He's still um, in the house music today. I need, I might need an RGB splitter. We need an update on the tank case for sure. It's really funny you mentioned that. <laughs> Yeah. Really funny you mentioned that. I'm gonna need no nerd. further comments. No, no further questions? No further questions or comments. Uh, what happened to the tank PC case? The original one, uh, well, it didn't survive shipping, so it never got a system built in it. Um, but that's why I'm saying stay tuned because we might stay have tuned. another one. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So I need. I need to plug the strimmers Oh in. no, we have strimmer controllers on top of RGB controllers. Mm -hmm. There's no. gonna be three controllers. No. Plenty of room. Oh yeah, Absolutely. no, there's plenty for of sure room. Is room. I just, I feel for you, those <clears throat> controllers yeah. are. Uh, I need an RGB splitter. Do you have any two ways or should I go get one really quick? Uh, I only have the four, the four? or more. Okay, I'm gonna go get one real quick. Four or more. I go get. Since we got 134 of you lurking over here on kick, how are we doing today? What is this? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what CPU is in there? This guy is a 7700X AMD chip. This is the 13700K from Intel. Um, are those PC parts behind you just boxes or real stuff? Um, so I do all the water cooling high-end systems. Uh, these are pretty much empty boxes from past products or the actual heat sink from water cooled graphics cards. So you guys can't see it, but there's probably a good like 10 graphics cards over there and another like 10 or so over on that side. It's all just the uh, heat sink coolers of graphics cards. Once you water block them, I just put them back and fuck it away. Um, some of the other parts, so those are the air coolers I was mentioning. We do have a couple motherboards on display. Motherboards are damaged ones that aren't going to work anymore. But they look cool. Nice set pieces. Yeah, good decor. Good decor. Yep. Alright, so I am going to... Chris with a haircut, indeed Chris with a haircut. Trying to keep you. it fresh. Uh, I cannot read your name because it's coming in on a font color. What is that? I'm so sorry. Is it a greeny boy? I, I feel so bad I can't read that right now. Connor, who is that? Grocery boy? Grocery boy? What is with this font? Whatever font and color this came through on our stream thing, I'm so sorry I cannot read that. But uh, you bought the new computer several months ago. Works great, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, it looks like grocery boy. Thank you for stopping by the stream. What you been playing with it? What you been doing? Happy to hear it's working for you. Uh, how much would it cost to water cool the tank one? Uh, it would be like the cost of the water cool, uh, sorry, the cost of the case, which would be a little extra, plus water cooling, which is usually about 1500 on top of a system, give or take. Um, and it would take, so we did actually have a customer asking about that last time. It would take a little bit of modifications, um, some acrylic work to replace some of the glass where airflow would pretty much be cut off. Um, so we can basically modify it to make it water cool because it needs a little love 
Uh, mostly Minecraft, but Starfield and Tarkov too. It's a good variety right there. I'm a, I'm a big Tarkov gamer. I haven't played Starfield, but Minecraft is just an OG. I've, I have, you're, to you're this in day, the minority, yep. but I have never, ever, ever played Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft's a big one. I have also never played Fortnite. That's I, haven't, okay. I haven't played a so Call of Duty game. I haven't played a Call of Duty game since 2000 and like 13. I'm not missing out. Papa Zaduk, how's it going? Zaduk. Zaduk. Zaduk is on fire. Uh, trash. This is another stream where I'm spending the entire time behind a case. Uh, the a, new Alienware Pete Intel a PC is a joke for sure. You get an A77 and a 13. Interesting. They're putting an A7700 in that. An A7700? So what does that mean? Uh, that's the ARC Intel ARC. Oh, oh, that's the ARC stuff. I keep forgetting that even exists. Yeah, exactly. I think we have to follow Buck Wild. Uh, I bought Minecraft in Alpha for five bucks like 11 years ago. Free updates ever since. Yeah, dude. Been playing Minecraft since 20. Oh. I don't know. I'm too old for the Minecraft craze, and I just, I just never got the appeal of it. Yeah, we had to be like a nine or ten year old when you started it, and then now when you're 24, you're like, damn, that game, that hits home. <laughs> but if you didn't start playing when it you were nine years right. old, yeah, this yeah, game it, just feels. Good. It will. You won't be the same. Nostalgic. Minecraft is tougher than you think it is. Yeah. No. And I used to. Uh, one of my first things I ever made money from was actually running Minecraft servers. I was a builder for like Hypixel and some other ones back in the day. Um, but yeah, Minecraft's just one of those things. They'll just keep upgrading it, keep adding things, keep adding features. Mod packs exist and those go super, super in depth. Um, playing the Ark remake, loving it. Awesome, dude. I actually haven't heard a whole lot on that new Ark game since it came out. I'm glad it's, is it mostly just a visual overhaul or were there actually gameplay and other things added to it? Uh, it's also poorly optimized, so it takes a good computer still. Yeah, that Minecraft God, is still running off of Java. Uh, Java the Hut? Java the Hut, yep. So it's limited by what Java can do. Java and it's like very, cappuccino? Uh, not very optimized, it's very slow. Very archaic way of making a game today. Arc? Uh, what's up with the PC on the left? Uh, I'm guessing you mean this guy over here. Uh, this is the Alienware <coughs> what with the guy with the shoe? build. Hey, you with the uh, shoe. We did. So this is a water-cooled i7-13700K and a 4070 Ti. Um, all adequately cooled inside of a case with pretty much no airflow. So you have a couple of ventilations here that come through the front panel. It's like a mesh. Um, and then the top is, uh, if you need extra airflow, that one. It's one, one of our boredom fan, PCs. Uh, with a radiator as well. We got bored and decided to do something like exactly. really big and, and eccentric. And speculations say that this might be a giveaway. Speculations. I don't know yet. I have, they don't have confirmation on that. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Could be a fun one. I will give actually away, be very sad away, if we do because now. I really like this build. I can uh, appreciate just how much effort went into this paint job. It was very, very impressive. Uh, I about broke my neck doing a double take on that case. Thought we were messing with the Y70. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we did the same thing and assumed this was uh, just about any other height case. It uh, it's it's it, it, it looks like one, but it is not one. Um, hi, I came into your shop last week asking to buy a 4070, not knowing you build computers uh, and sell parts. One of your coworkers told me that the i5-14600 is better than the i7-12700. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, I mean the 146 Actually, yes. compared to the 12.7. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in later generations, the i5 to i7 to i9 ratio has pretty much been like a like a step every time. So you kind of go down a step with the next one and you kind of go down a, a step with the next one. You kind of um, go down, down, so down. So the i7 or or sorry, the i5 of the 13th gen was better than the i7 of the 12th gen, meaning the i5 of the 14th gen is also going to be better than that 12th gen i7. Saying um, all kinds of words that I don't understand. Which is really cool. It's exciting that people can just get into a mid-tier CPU for a newer generation and still be competing with past what people would be trying to find with like a used hardware situation. I hope this works, this like daisy chaining the RGB. Lots of options. I mean, like, why wouldn't it, right? Uh, but thank you for stopping by the uh, showroom. Hopefully we uh, were able to help you with whatever you're looking for. Hopefully. Uh, I post the view from my base. Arc looks so good. Damn. Must be really good. Uh, any colored cables on the height PC? Uh, <laughs> it's not a height. <laughs> See? It's, this is different. Look, look, look. 
Oh, Ooh. we got like Ooh. a we got like it's a, a trapezoid. <laughs> we got a swinging door over here. Very different. Wee, wee, Very nice. Wee. Uh, and any colored cables, yes, any colored cables are being added into the case. <coughs> we're going to throw some shoes. <laughs> we're going to throw some streamers up in this bitch. Yes, yeah, so they're going to be RGB cables, so you can in theory make them any color you want. In theory, you could do whatever the L it is you want to do. Uh, I was so excited to see you all installed an MSI 4070. MSI makes great quality stuff in my experience. I love MSI yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, exactly, we're using their MSI yeah, Pro yeah, Series yeah, board yeah. in this one right here. Uh, Maybe not the best reputation in the industry, but in the last few generations, I haven't. Like heard I said, that. their their whole that's MPG line, I like all their MPG. And then yep. their Tomahawk stuff. MPG is a newer too. one. That's definitely a refreshed line that for sure solved a lot of problems of past mm. hardware. Oh. Uh, gotta go, guys. Love your stream. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you stopping by again. What is next? Uh, what case do you recommend for your Dell Optiplex? Man, you and your Optiplex. Um, what case, I mean, it's an ATX board, I'm guessing. Is it an MATX? Do you know the form factor of the motherboard? Because we can maybe do like a compact case or we could do like a full size like, big ATX case. It's up to you. Uh, most of the mounting for the hardware should be standard. I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know. Intel proprietary mother, or, or sorry, Dell proprietary motherboards having the same standoff structure. I believe so. Um... Oh man, it's been a while since I've remember the janky one we had. You had to open up the side, and it was like crushed yeah. into itself when you. Like, yeah, I it. don't. I don't remember it really having much. I think it was I all like pretty proprietary. Pre 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 yeah. Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, I'm telling you, when you open Discord and see it posted, oh my god, I'm running it on low. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Owie. Pinch my fingy. All right, I'm gonna move the the toaster oven for just a sec. Got Damn, dude. Big this, 7, is, this is the new arc running on low. Hold on, I'm trying to make it. What are you doing? Too much light shining on my phone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Damn. Wow. That's like a desktop wallpaper. You can, it's like a, that Firewatch game. Everyone just took screenshots from it and mm -hmm. like started making desktop backgrounds out of it. Is the 4070 and a 14600K a good combo? We, I, was, I was like, why oh, yeah, does our chat keep going? YouTube's been on something today. It's been a little extra ex struggling with the thing over here. I'm just gonna stop reading. Um, 4070 <clears throat> and 14600K a good combo? That's an excellent combo, dude. That's a perfect Intel, Nvidia, oh, yeah. mid-tier combo oh, yeah. right there. Um, yeah, I, honestly, no complaints at all. That 4070 slash 4070 Ti, if you wanted to spend a little extra money, you might want to push for it. But again, it's that's an awesome system right there. Uh, want to know the theory of the energy drink monster? Sure, dude. Let me in on some secrets. You know the secret formula of the monster? Oh, we talking about there's there's this viral video out there that like talks about the devil and religion and six six six. Oh with god, the is that what logo. we're gonna get into here? Yeah, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, it's it's literally it's it's incredibly grasping at straws. Like <laughs> you're really trying your hardest to find something devilish about it. If that's the same, if if that's, that's, that, the same. that's the video I'm thinking of, and yeah, it was it was quite quite ridiculous. Here's that XFX card we were talking about earlier. This oh, is our Satanic Overlord. I'm with you. I'm with you, Kato. What Very is this? industrial oh, yeah. looking card. I, li I, I like these cards. I like the Merc one, but this one's also... It's actually also... a lot lighter than I thought. I was about to say that. It's not as dense and heavy as the Merc yeah, card. Uh, it's similar to that. We're doing the 7700X. Okay, for, I, I was thinking the 7900XT. I thought we were doing the 7900XT. Would you like to read Pubert's comment about Monster? <laughs> The real number of the beast is one one five five. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. Oh yeah. Hell man. yeah. That's what monster will do for you. Yo, yeah, well, look. When it says, uh, "Yeah, it is," I was right mm -hmm. about the the religion video. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. I I don't I don't drink monsters, so. Even before that video. Uh, this is my first build, so it doesn't turn on. I'm giving it to you guys to see what's wrong with it. Dude, best of luck. But yeah, if you run into <laughs> any issues and you're local to the Phoenix area, we're more than happy to help you. Uh, bring by the parts, bring by the system. Uh, we probably get you sorted out. We get you sorted. We get it working. Happy to help. <laughs> happy to help. 
69 plus 420 plus 666 equals 1155. Wow. Those are all just beautiful. Beautiful. Did you see that the O is across, so when you drink it, it turns upside down? Interesting. Apparently, Monster Energy is very satanic. Now. Hell yeah. You guys talk about that video. That's, so you're about to do I didn't see the video, but apparently there was something It's, a, it's about actually Monster. quite an old video. I saw it like 10 years ago. Uh, what's a good graphics card uh, for budget right now, Kyle? Okay. Give me one of each. I've been doing that every time uh, now. I just want to. I mean, the, the best like budget for Nvidia is the current stuff is like 60. Yep. It's like the best budget. Like, yep. If you go previous gen, like 3060s, you can get a crazy good deal. If you do like a yep. used market. Hubert says a 3060 Ti. You can get a, a great like something that wasn't used to mine, like a 3080 yep. in the used market. That yep. Try to find good. something that wasn't used for GPU mining is a big one. Yeah. Don't mind um, power of GPUs that were used to mine. Do you guys do $100 <laughs> an hour for uh, service? Yes, we do. So if you need to bring in your system and get it sorted out, that's pretty much what you're looking at. Uh, 4070 is a good budget. 40, yeah, I would say 4060 is a good budget. 4070 is if you're pushing it, and if you're starting at that 4070, that 4070 to 47Ti, if you can squeeze it out, you might notice that little extra bit of performance. Uh, will be pretty marginal at that point, if though. If you were to build a PC right now, Chris, would you do a 4070 Ti for me? Uh, minimum 4070 Ti. I like to. It would definitely be an AMD CPU though. Yeah, I was telling the, them. One of the Tarkov guys. Yeah, I was saying because certain case scenarios, they want that X3D, uh, that 3D V cache actually helps a lot. So games that are pretty shitty like Tarkov actually will benefit from having something extra like that to help it out. So a 7950X3D or a 7900X3D, one of those chips would be perfect. I want to see this. Ooh. Uh, when is Meta going to make a mini PC yeah, build, be, like, sir? Literally, they Sir Hubert. Yeah. I got like you. A, there's like a, a halo ring and all. The fans actually came out. It looked pretty clean. And then we're throwing Sir strippers Hubert. in there, too. Oh, nice. No. There's plenty of room for it. No. Yeah. Dude, that looks dope. That's true. Yeah. Oh down, 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 got down. Have I got you. the build for you? Hey! Hey! Tell them what about are you doing? Tell them about the north and keep screaming. It's not the north. It's not the God, north. It's, it's the north. It's the south. It's the south. This is the, the fractal the south. Wait, you want me to talk about this? This is the fractal west side story. Tell me about it. West side. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He said if only we made an ITX or a small system. Oh, and I was like, go. sir. Look, it has wings. We did this last week. Oh, I'm bumping your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, I need to push this it. Is Look, it has wings. <laughs> What do we stuff in there? Is this the 4080 that we put That's in the 4080, yep. yeah. That's the 4080 okay. Pro Art card. So Keep you, guys, you guys know how uh, uh, graphics cards are chonky boys these days? Did chonky you guys boys. No. Not in comparison to the case. Here we go. Uh, hey! Uh, uh, hey, yo, upgraded my rig in September and it's great. Thanks. Awesome. Shamrocker, thank you for stopping by. Shamrock, that's not your real name. I'm Get glad out. we were able to help <laughs> you out. Look at this. This is a thick boy. This is a 4080. Thick boy. This wouldn't fit in here. Yeah, do like a. Yeah. How do we show? How do we show this? This would not fit in here. It's it's too long. No. It's too wide. That's what it she doesn't, said. Doesn't work. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. And uh, mm. Asus has their ProArt line. It's mm. instead of like what is it, three and three and a quarter slot. I think so. Three and a quarter slot. Just like over three. Normal, normal uh, graphics card width. Uh, the ProArt cards are super sweet. I'm actually going to take this up to the camera so people can see this. Uh, the, the message just timed out, but someone was saying that they uh, weren't entirely confident with AMD cards or graphics cards right now, but that's also because they hadn't looked into it much. Uh, definitely, definitely look into it a little bit more. Current gen AMD graphics look. cards are fantastic. Uh, we're actually working with the 7700X right here, and it's so fantastic. Fantastic card. Jesus. This is the Asus ProArt. You had to, I had to like... XT, sorry. It's a two and a half inch super sleek looking you can fit it in like tighter spaces so if you have like a an itx build you definitely would go with the pro art it's worth i think you pay like a little bit more but if yeah. you want like an itx build it's worth it and this case is actually pretty interesting too because if we did a lower profile cpu cooler than we did we'd actually have just a hey! tad bit more extra space for uh the gpu just around it there Look at that. Uh, that case is really cool. You can basically take the center platform and move it left to right with it.
So you can kind of free up more room either on your GPU side or free up more room over on the CPU side of it. Whichever you want. Uh, do you guys have an O11 build just sitting around? If you do, can I see it? We can try the vision, right? Uh, vision, yeah, we're good with that now. Vision is, is out. It's ready to party. I have a vision. I have a vision. To show you the vision. I've acquired a vision. You know what I envision? A world where the case is just 100% glass because we just gave up on every other material and we're like, no, glass only. All sides. Glass on glass on glass. Uh, so this is the O11 Vision. So this is a little bit different from a standard O11 case. They basically just said, away with the top bands. Away with you. Um, and more glass. So this is a very interesting case. It kind of has like a three pane thing here that they all meet in the corner and rest. So is you don't thing, actually see any of these structure panels or frame bits. Is that plugged in? You ha is your thing turned on down there? The motherboard light is on. There oh, we go. There it goes. Oh, okay. Power button was just mad at me. Uh, isn't that the new case? Yes, this is the brand new one. Um, this is the Vision. Uh, there's still the Evo, the Evo XL, the non Evos, the Evo RGB is coming out soon. Uh, too many options, um, but basically you can't go wrong with any of them. I think all of the O11 cases are fantastic. Fantastic. Kyle's actually mentioning it right now. Um, some of the uh, guys here actually couldn't tell that in dark lighting there was glass on this case. You can kind of see it on camera here. It is ridiculously clear. Um, there's actually a coating on the inside here that from my view is reflecting it back at me. So it's almost like a mirror when I look in. Um, but from you, it's perfectly clear one way. I wonder if you could set the camera or put it in such a way that you can... I don't know, maybe from the top down into the case, they can tell. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, you can see. It definitely stands out more in person, but this reflection that's happening here is only from this inside view, not from this outer edge. So it's a very interesting coating they put on the glass that you can't even really tell is there. Um, some interesting engineering happened just to give that, that reflectiveness. Like yeah. And then, yeah, we're in front there. <laughs> so almost no like reflections or anything off of it. You can't like see the TV bouncing off of it or the people over there. It's uh, something very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. You don't even the, see in the camera view. That's pretty. Even awesome. just the clear glass alone, you don't see a lot. Almost everyone has some type of smokiness or tint to it. This is just crystal clear looking through. It's very very nice. Crystal clear. Thomas says I'm getting the Neo Cube uh, two case. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the, uh, they all have infinity mirrors, right? All the Neo Cubes? The Neo Cubes, yes, they yeah, do. Yeah, so those are the infinity mirror ones with this front panel here is like a RGB effect. Uh, what's the biggest GPU you can fit in the O11 Dynamic? Um, the Evo case, you can fit 40 series graphics cards in. Mm -hmm. um, not much of a problem, uh, especially if you vertical mount, there's even more space. Um, if you want to for sure have plenty of breathing room, the O11 Evo XL, XL. is now a thing. It's um, a huge. It'll, it'll make a large graphics card look small. <laughs> it is a very impressively large case. Um, but yeah, if you're concerned about compatibility, you will not run into a problem with that case. Promise you. Um, but yeah, they are very well designed cases, similar to why Height did the Y40 iteration, just to fit all of those 40 series graphics cards and ensure that you're not going to run into, uh, you know, quite literally the front of your case. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, do you sell your own parts? Because when searching for memory and power, it couldn't find the parts you just have listed. Uh, no, we don't actually sell parts individually. Yeah, we don't, um, we don't right now, parts. it's mostly just a pre-built package for any of our systems. Um, something maybe we'll get to, uh, get to more in the future as we start ramping up with the showroom. What CPU is good for an NVIDIA GTX 645 and supports Windows 11? This is a meme. NJX been in chat for a minute. Is this your, uh, you're the Dell Optiplex guy. So, <laughs> so this is, if this is your Dell Optiplex hey, that we're talking about. I remember you, you're the Dell Optiplex guy. You, you're joking right now. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Any, any CPU that's been out since that card has been out is gonna be a really good CPU for you. <laughs> you got a good 10 years to play with there of CPU generations. You know um, 
Uh, you, I this, mean, this is him laughing. Ha, ha, ha. ha. <laughs> Typing in, ha, ha, ha. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, dude, the, the GPU I isn't too so much to funny. try and pair with. I would assume any modern tier AMD or Intel offering is going to be perfectly good for you. Um, and then you could also look towards then upgrading that graphics card to meet the tier of CPU. Are you actually answering the question like legitimately? Yes, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I got a, I got a, a lull out of him. That was it. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that buy anything and you'll be fine. You cannot go wrong. He's going to say it's got like a Pentium 2 in it or something. It's all about the Pentiums, baby. <laughs> yeah. I told him I could fake my Maria here. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger Direct when they were still alive. Yeah, hey, we were with my customer like uh, less than five years ago. A Stephen Hawking's, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> it might be. Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> Bust Insider. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't uh, get it. Why is I that funny? Get it. That's just a good cider company, right? Bustin' Cider and Chodlin are two of my favorite <laughs> new people I've seen in chat in a while. <laughs> They're pretty funny. <laughs> Some effort went into that. Mm -hmm. You can respect it. Respect. Um, I get 160 FPS on Fortnite in medium to low settings, but I want to change the CPU so I can get Windows 11. Interesting. I'm very impressed that you're getting 160 frames with a GTX 640, oh, it's, five, uh... which I don't think exists. Um, but again, if, if you're already getting good frames and you just want any CPU, again, any modern day CPU is going to be better than that, for sure. Um, so again, well, just you're, gonna, you're gonna need a modern day motherboard. Yes, you are. It is gonna require a motherboard and memory and a CPU. So this is definitely a budget oriented question. Um, depends on how much money you have to spend. There will be something. <coughs> hey, uh, I'm just here for a good time. 59 more days till another goofy name. Love it, dude. <laughs> oh, shoot. Where are you going? Through the floor. Uh, when the new NVIDIA RTX series comes out, what are you gonna? Are you gonna buy it right away? Are you eager for it? I can't really say I'm eager for anything in the yeah. PC industry anymore. I wish I was. I just um, got my 40. Th how come we own? How come it seems like exactly? It's, how, is it really only YouTube that's chatting right now, or uh, is no one else online no, to chat? No, they're they're clipping through occasionally. We have no one else on any what is uh, it? platforms. So it is the Dell Optiflex. It, it? <laughs> it is quite literally <laughs> only made for it. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. quite literally an that was, OEM. That was so that you could actually run things wow. Yeah, so if you have an OEM 645, that's why I didn't know what it was, you for sure will benefit from any motherboard CPU upgrade. You are good to go. Came out 2015. 2013. Yes, we actually we actually have a decade's worth of <laughs> CPU upgrades to choose from. I'm amazed you already get 160 frames in Fortnite on that system at low. I want to call at 720p resolution. It has to be the only way. What monitor resolution are you playing Fortnite? Has to be sub 1080p. Standard definition. Standard definition. He's got the RCA cables going into the back of the box. Hell yeah. <laughs> red, yellow, red, yellow, and white. Uh. So, kind of odd question. Just curious what the highest amount of PCs you guys have built in a day. Interesting. What's the most you've built in one single day? I, I want to say. Uh... 10? There's definitely different parts to that question because we have like RTS builds. They're like our, then, our lower end standard system. We do those all day, every Eric's day. Eric's done. And we have someone specific for those builds. And I think the Eric, his highest was 18 and in one day. And he pumped out 18 of those in yeah, one yeah. day. Yeah, he pumped out 18 Dude of those. is an absolute machine. But again, they're, the, they're not custom. They're not as crazy as either, either of these. They're very repeatable. So once you have a system down for where every wire goes, you open Eric up the case can, and Eric you're already zip tying Eric things. Eric can do that shit in his sleep. Pretty much. 
I'm just like moving everything around. Yeah. <laughs> he probably is over there sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, do you guys like positive, negative, or neutral airflow? Um, is that a, I mean? It very much depends on your system. I do a lot of water cooling, so certain airflow situations aren't the same as a standard system because you're pushing air through thicker radiators. Um, you typically want to go for positive airflow. Um, neutral, if you can. If you can match a perfect intake outtake ratio, then absolutely. But more than likely, you're not going to be able to. Um, just ensuring you have enough intake to get that cool air into your case is for sure important. So focus on that. Um, and then, yeah, about I mean, the like, new RTX there, is, series. One of the 5,000 series. Actually, people comes out there who prefer negative. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, I would like, definitely avoid the negative. Yeah, avoid aim the for negative. Neutral, and at if all it's positive, costs. you'll be fine. Um, how long will the 4070 laster be relevant for? Um, rumor has it, we're still pushing the 40 series for one more go of things. Uh, the 40 series, we're getting the one last uh, refresh of. Supers. Yeah. So there's a rumor that they're trying to continue the 40 series for just a little bit longer. We'll uh, have to wait and see what they end up actually doing for that. But tis the NVIDIA way. Tis the way. Get the most out this of it. Is the way. And then here you go, 5,000. Here's our Helios Enjoy power it. supply. A power supply I've never um, seen before. He is playing in 720p. I knew it. So that's 1280p and 720p, but in Rocket League Max Graphics 2K, so 1440p, I get around 130. I'm still amazed you're pulling these numbers, sir. I mean, I know it's all right. Fortnite and Rocket League. But I'm already still. sold. Damn. I'm already sold on this power supply. A fancy bag of that's cables. That's a fancy bag. Oh, it's like a little like travel bag of. That is literally the best cable bag we've Ooh. gotten. And they're flat wires. I like these. These are like the MSI power supplies. <clears throat> And the deep cool ones. I have never gotten nice. a cable bag this nice. This actually is a really nice cable bag. Out of all the brands I've seen, I mean, this is like something you take to the airport with all your toiletries. You're just like a little drawstring little bag. Like your, yeah. Uh, your toiletries bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, game deal. Yeah. yeah, that's all very right. nice. Do you think okay. the 47 would be good enough to run games in four years? I think that is entirely dependent on what you are playing in four years what resolution you're working with i mean um, I'm, I'm using a four-year-old cpu right now that's a that's a mid-tier graphics card i don't know if i would tie 4070s with four years of lifespan if Agreed. you went for the 4080 to 4090 tier i could say maybe a little more confidently pin. but yeah. 4070 is still going to be a great card for don't at need least it. well over half of that hmm. so should be a great uh, system 600 watt and they included all the four cables too yep like some people, like some cable people. specific company <laughs> who only make cables. <laughs> Kapoo. Kapoo. Uh, I have mustard and ketchup wires in your Dell Optiplex. I'm not surprised. Clicky, the focus. Clicky. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Just the button on the top. Oh. Click dash yet. Other one, yep. Yay, I, you. I need you, you, Can you, you build you. a PC that handles ARC Remake on max settings? I have yeah. it right here for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stop by it's and pick it up. It yeah, it's already there. there. Where did they go? I don't even know what's in this, but it's probably plenty for your ARC survival. What card is this? Do we know? 7800 XT and a, is this a Intel? It says. I think this is a 14th gen build, right? Uh, it's, yeah, I mean. 14th gen 7800 yeah, 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 XT yeah. system? Oh yeah, we got your build right here for you. Um, um, I'm planning on upgrading to a 4080 in the future. Yeah, dude, if you're looking at the 4080, I would for sure go for it. Um, if you want something lower end to start, maybe go with the 4060 and then upgrade to a 4080 sooner than later, or just save up for a little bit longer. Get the 4080 now. Um, I'm in the boat of saving for things. I always would rather get the best of the best than piecemeal it back to that's why i haven't built a computer since my i9 2080 ti that's my computers i haven't wanted to touch that system since then because at the time the i9 9900k and a 2080 ti was chef's kiss perfect awesome tier system and i don't want to change anything of that so it'd have to be a new system one day 
Lil Noctua is looking at their wallet and crying, aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> looking at their wallet and crying. <laughs> aren't we all? Yep. I cry every uh, day. That would be a good showpiece for the lob uh yeah, for the lobby. A build running remake arc with Max on a decent TV. Yeah. We actually have a uh, we have a demo set up out there. We have a 280 hertz monitor next to a 165, and we use that when we demo uh, refresh rates to customers. So we'll pull up like Overwatch or something, show them Overwatch on a 1440p 165, and then a 4K 240, just to see like the drastic difference in the two. It might not be 4K actually. Now that I think about it. Thank you for subscribing. Muka, thank you, thank you. Where's my water at? Where your water at? Hydrate. Water at? Yeah, hydrate. Hydrate. Hydro thunder. You hydrate before you dehydrate. Choose your track. Remember that game? Ever, uh, ever, where's the other guy who makes the YouTube shorts? I'm assuming you mean Zach or Kyle. Kyle? Kyle is over there. He was just on camera. Um, Zach is not in the office currently. Uh, he's usually around to film all of our content stuff. Uh, do you guys have a Discord server? Absolutely. Um, there's a link floating through every now and again. I believe it is in there. Um, you're over on YouTube, so I don't believe we have a command for it. But it should be scrolling through every now and again. Um, and Drew, if you chat, feel free to drop a link to that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Hmm? Oh, they were just saying, who is the other guy that makes the YouTube shorts? And I'm guessing this is all you, so the other guy would be Zach. This is a one. Uh, Zach is probably the guy you see the most, because his uh, charisma is tenfold of mine. Oh, yeah. it's x I, I can't oh, compete Brandon. with that. You remember when we went to Tennessee? I don't. And you, I barely remember any of it. And you, <laughs> I wish I could have been there. <laughs> Made friends with the homeless dude. Hey, man, they're the, they're the best people to talk to sometimes. Uh -huh. they, the best, they got the best stories. Sometimes those. He remembers part of it. Sometimes <laughs> those stories is what led them onto the streets. So I don't know happens. if I want to call that a best story. <laughs> Yeah, if I could have like 10% of Zach's charisma when he's up here on camera, he is uh, absolutely insane. Odin Wolves, that's a badass name. Odin Wolves. How's it going? <laughs> it comes with a bald head, just shave your head. I might have to. Shrink down a little, shave my head. <laughs> a little. Harness the ability of Zach. We can do it. You can do it! We can do it. So these, like... What I haven't seen in the chat in a while is Twitch. Yeah, I don't... Twitch might not be. Maybe Twitch didn't... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, our, for some reason, our... It's the only one that isn't working on it. And our even then, our, our kick chat goes away like that. Oh, yeah. Let me with our bot. It's being some, weird. Yeah, the, it's, it's fucky. There has been, yeah, there's been no Twitch chat. Gotta have a beard with a bald head, though. Yeah, I, I can't do both of those, unfortunately. Zach's the only one that can hit all the marks. Uh, can you send a link so I can join? Yes, if possible. Uh, the tank PC case that came in broken, how much was it again? That's like a $400 case. Like 400 bucks. And I think I replaced it, it showed up today. Okay. Uh, Lona Two is on Twitch. It says it's working. We're just lurking. Yes, we got a lot of lurkers right now. We got like over a hundred viewers over on Kick still. Thank you, X Factor, for the raid again. We appreciate you. A um, few fellows over on YouTube. Some over on Twitch. Uh, Thanksgiving plans? I don't really have any. I don't really have any family out here. Just probably gonna hang out, chill, get some nice food, maybe cook a nice meal. Go to the Chinese restaurant? Go to a Chinese? No, no, no. I'd cook like a steak or something. Make a good dinner. I do like cooking. Uh, EDC Explained. Yo, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome EDC to the chat. EDC Explained. Like everyday oh, like, look, carry. Look, look, let me, let me explain to you the, the <laughs> EDC. Let me explain to you what EDC is. Uh, what is the cooling solution for the new build? 
uh, for this guy over here, the cooling is going to be the LT720, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's at 360 millimeter AIO. I'm, ab I'm about to throw that bad boy in here. Uh, break out the pew pews. It's a range day then. Pew pew. Kyle, we need a Thanksgiving day range day shenanigans something. Okay. Shenanigans. We go wait, pew pew. Wait, 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 like stream it? No, just pew pew in general. We're talking about oh. things to do on Thanksgiving. Just he says pew break out the pew pews. It's range day. Pew pew yeah. here and there. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to be in Utah though. Lame. But we could, uh, maybe that Sunday we could. Mm -hmm. Hey, Star Star Lord. Hey, Star Lord. Hey, I remember you. How you doing? Uh, yep. And then what was the CPU cooling for the new build for this guy right here? Was that 360 AIO? Wait, which one are we using for that one? The deep cool one? LT 720. Yeah, LT, yeah. Some of my favorite coolers. Mm hmm. Yeah. Shout out, Mike. Love you. Uh, it's like comments explained, but for EDC content. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know. Love, what, love some good EDC what is, content. What is comments explained? Comics? Com oh, comics is playing? Yeah, like a YouTube oh, that, channel about comics. That's books. a YouTube channel? Yeah. Let's see if we can get the mirror effect to, to happen. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Connor, what's your favorite PC case? There you go. Uh, what is my favorite PC case? That's a that's a tough one. I don't know. Um. Favorite to build in or favorite to look at? That's like I said, that's a tough one. Recently, the the Fantex NV5. NV5s, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, um, yeah. you know that NV7 is just like a chunky big build. I do. So like the, the NV5 has been the NV5 has actually been like for recent release. Cases, I just did a, I just did a rog I just did a rog 4090 in yeah. the NV5. Fit perfectly. It, oh my God, flawlessly. Hell yeah. And it comes with the t that that uh the GPU mount that it comes with the bracket. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just everything about it was just really good. Yeah, those are yeah the new Fantex cases are awesome. I'm still a huge fan of all of the Evo cases. This vision is super hot. Um, super hot. I did a water cooled build in the Evo super XL over there. It has two hot. 420 millimeter radiators in it, uh, thick super core radiators hot. too. So it's a hot. insanely high performing system. It does really well. Insane in the membrane. Um, but yeah, there's insane so many cases out there. And they've come a long way too. Like a budget case now versus a budget case five years ago, like you're at least getting tempered glass, you're getting power supply shrouds, you're mm -hmm. getting at least two fans with the case. Like you used to be just getting a metal box for a hundred bucks. Now for a hundred bucks you metal? can get- Metal? Shit, plastic. <laughs> yeah, a plastic box for a hundred bucks. Now you get actually like some pretty, pretty decent offerings out there. Yeah, a hundred dollars for a case now goes a long way. Absolutely. There's some really good options. What am I doing? We have a lot of deep, cool, uh, MATX cases. Those are usually around that hundred dollar, eighty dollar price point. Very nice cases. CH370 sometimes, sometimes yeah. like yeah, sixty bucks. It's like yeah. The, one of the best MATX cases on the oh yeah, no, I love that case a lot. Uh, the wood cases are elite. Yeah, Fractal has been killing it with the wood cases. They've got the North and the Terra. All doing that. Uh, Negative Infinite. Hey guys, just dropped in for a quick question. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. Nice to see you again. Hold that. Yeah. Guitar. Oh yeah, we also had like the DIY wooden case that you like assemble together. Uh, sure, if you want. I hear a wild Carl in the background. Yeah, Kato, we got a Kyle. Wild here. Carl. He's hanging out. Uh, my favorite case is the H9 Elite in white. Uh, NZXT H9. That's a pretty good. H9, one. yeah. Yep. Uh, just dropped for a. Oh no. My PC isn't detecting one of my RAMs. Huh. Like just one stick? How many sticks are there total? Two. Interesting. Um, and the system runs fine with just the one stick in. Yep. Reseeding uh, would be a, a fantastic first step. Uh, just take out both sticks, put them back in. Whip them out. Uh, yeah, that H9 Elite is definitely an expensive case. I think it's like 200 bucks, maybe, getting close to that. Probably getting real close. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you receipt memory and all that. Uh, good starting steps. Uh, I did, but still only one detected. Interesting. Um, if it's dual channel memory, you could try the other two slots to your motherboard. It could be a motherboard problem with that slot. Uh, that could narrow it down if it's the memory or not. Ah! Uh, this is an interesting case, Kyle, just brought over here. I don't know who makes this or what this is called. Cyberwood. 
cyber wood. I'll show you some cyber wood. This is, a, aside from Connor's cyber wood, this is a PC case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the kick viewer is double. <laughs> we don't know why. Um, so yeah, I know why. This is a DIY assemble it yourself type of case. It comes flat packed, and you basically, if anyone is familiar with the brand Parvum, they made like acrylic cases using these little corner aluminum blocks. Basically built the same way little block, block, uh, screw in all the corners together, and you end up with some kind of structure. So. A little MATX or ITX case, right? Yeah, this is ITX. Oh, uh, no, it's MATX. It is MATX, yeah. yeah. So a little MATX board tucked into there. Uh, power supply is hidden around in the front right here. Um, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Just make sure to click it in. I did that before, I didn't click it enough. Yeah, so for your memory, make sure when you're reseating <laughs> it, you're getting it all the way. Um, I'm gonna AOL, yeah. I'm gonna hit you up on AOL. I want a vertical mount GPU in the O11. I'm going, what are you back I'm going for, for the older women. Um, in the Evo, oh, vertical man. mounting a card is actually perfectly fine. There's uh, plenty of room for that. We do it a lot for not only water pool, but standard builds as well. That's a really cool look. Everyone wants that vertical mount style these days. Uh, that case looks like uh, the bee from Honey, but oh, oh, the bee from Honey Nut Cheerios would come with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can see that. It's a classic grill pattern. They're like, I don't know what finish to make. Honeycomb. Yeah. That one. Yeah, the best it's part nice was, case, what I loved during its uh, during our stress testing, you could smell the wood. Yeah. Gets when, the, when the computer was getting hot, you could smell the wood getting hot. Uh-huh. This would be a fun project. If this was like a like a little kid's first PC build and they wanted to like draw on it or paint on it or like, you know, color it first and then build it, that could be pretty cool. No, it's a fun little DIY project. Build your case, then build your computer. And these power switches. Oh yeah, and of course the best part is that they gave you a, a vandal switch. These are nice. These could are I the put, most satisfying I, ones. Oh man, I oh god damn it. Huh. I gotta flip the fans around. Yep. <laughs> I knew that too. I knew those holes were pointed that way, and I still put the fans in. Honeycomb big, yeah, yeah. Connor sure does love smelling wood. <laughs> Cyber wood. Yep. Send me those smells over the internet. Um, but yeah, if you want to vertical mount your GPU in that Evo, Lee and Lee does make peers. a vertical mount bracket for their cases. Uh, if you want to go even more overkill than that, uh, EK, the water cooling company, has a really, really over-engineered uh, vertical mount bracket that works as well. Well, I started talking about Cyberwood, and now yep. Trog is here. Fly Medic, how's it HR going? Welcome back. Uh, we are working in the not a height case. It is currently off screen, but it looks pretty neat. Um, they were showing off some other projects we've been working on lately. We have the O11 Vision case, which is this three-sided glass pane case. Looks very pretty. Um, had that mirror effect you were seeing out there on the side, um, and then showing off this DIY showing off some wood water cool PC over here. Your super fragile mm -hmm. case. Are you able to pull up the uh, Twitch stats right now, real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna take this back because I think there's someone in the show room. Yeah, get it. Talking about it. Take it. Take that. Oh, that's what I thought. Take Definitely. that wood. Take that They're wood. Just hiding. <laughs> oh. We need to do something about our chat, like. Our whole big white version over here, it, it, it goes it goes away quick. within 15 seconds of them typing it in. It's been it, like for us, it's been blank almost the entire stream. So uh, get on that. Uh, what you building today? Uh, we are. <laughs> that's Chris, that's Chris's job. Well, you know we're working on it. Well, we're we only, got... if that's the case, then let's shorten that screen. Got 10 times the viewers on various other platforms, but that's okay. As long as you guys are here somewhere. That's all that matters. Bam, 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 uh, what are you bam. building today? Today we're building R&Ding the uh, Game DS. I'll bring it up. The just, case was called. Just one set. Um, very I'll similar to a height styled case. Um, and then we're showing off some of the other projects we have sitting around. Uh, but yeah, spec wise for the case he's working on is a 7700X from AMD and a 7700XT graphics card. Not confusing at all. Not confusing. Not confusing at all. in the slightest. 7700 CPU, 77. We know who's the real boss now. Yeah, exactly. Connor runs the show around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Wii music. They just. In this uh, yep, yep. 
say they, they do what I say just so, I, so that they're scared of seeing my cyberwood. Full vendor build? Yeah, sort of. So they sent out the uh, the case, the fans, the power supply. Uh, we're basically going to put all that together and see how it turns out. So far, these fans are pretty neat. Yeah, uh, the, Super minimal, super clean. The case itself, very different, but I love the amount of space they put into it. Yep. The fans, they looked cheap at they first. They did look cheap at first. But when we put them together, they're incredibly clean and I'm impressed. Yeah. And then, of course, that power supply, love sold. It. Love it, love it. Sold. So all in all... Uh, every component I've opened from them has been um, a surprise, an, an impressive surprise. White case with blue, nice. Yes, sir. This is a super clean build. I love the all-white aesthetic. We use it a lot. Can't go wrong. Uh, Cutter says, my meta hat was delivered this afternoon. Can't wait to get home. <laughs> I'm excited for you, dude. I've been waiting on that for forever. Um, Emilio again says, I bought a Emilio! CPU fan cooler, specifically the Deep Cool AK620. Mighty Duck Man, I swear to God. Um, would the AK620 fit with a vertical mount GPU under it? With the AK620? An Evo build with the AK air cooler, and, and you try to mount? vertical no, mount. No, I no, 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 that will not fit. I, if you're using an air cooler, I don't think you'd be Maybe able to in the XL. Mount. Maybe in the XL, you had the taller height. No, but it's still GPU to CPU distance. Doesn't yeah, change. it's it's still like. Yeah. God, it's, yeah, no, that's that's a tough one. No, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Rocked mine at Six Flags. Bad news. They told me to take it off while on the rides. What am I missing? You talking about hat? You're talking about your hat? Oh, are you talking about the meta hat? I was so confused, and I was like, you took what on a roller coaster? <laughs> Took my gaming PC with me on a roller coaster yeah. and I said I couldn't do it. I tried flying with my water cooled computer. TSA was like, sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> uh, I was scared to buy an AIO, so I went with a fan cooler. Why were you scared of the AIO? Curious what uh, swayed you one way or the other on that. Uh, I meant take it where you want, but yes, the hat. <laughs> it makes plenty of sense. I'm trying to find a cool way to hide these wires. Using their little bracket there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, like, yeah, pulling the wires through. I'm like, I can make, I can make it toward it. I'm not seeing at all. Sid's Palace deserves a ri to ride a ride. I'm sure, dude. <laughs> when was the last time you were on a roller coaster? Oh, man, it's been forever. Sadly, though, I love roller coasters. I haven't been to a ro like on a roller coaster since I lived in... Missouri, which was Missouri. like two moves ago, but they had a six months there. What was that caught on my It's not nothing, chat. My PC's name is that. Got it. Sid's Palace. Mm. Uh, good thing I have not ordered it. Oh, the uh, air cooler. Yeah, no, if you... Water cooling is not scary. <laughs> Uh, there's Especially definitely the, AIO. There's definitely a misconception that since an AIO is water cooling, that it's more maintenance intensive or more concerning, or it's gonna leak, or you have no. to maintenance the coolant of it or something. Pretty much none of those are true. And don't worry, um, I mean you're not the first person too. I have some friends who. Oh yeah, no, it's who a, it's definitely a huge, prefer, huge only want to do right air now. cooling. Yeah, uh, if, if you had an AIO that leaks. Just know that you're in like the 0.5% minority. Mm -hmm. um, it is extremely not common because it is a closed water cooling loop. Um, so there's no way for the water to escape the system unless no. you were to actually cut the tube, open a radiator, or break something in some way. What um, are you stuck and on? And if any wire? of those things happened in shipping, you'd know very quickly. Um, so otherwise, an AIO is just going to be an overall better option for taking heat away from a component. Um, air coolers still have their place. They're fantastic in budget systems, but if you're looking for that Evo vertical mount look and you want it to all kind of be that higher end cohesiveness, honestly, I don't even think I don't even think the options available on our website. Probably not. I don't think I don't even think you can do uh, 490 vertical mount. I wouldn't think so with an air yeah. cooler. I mean, a 240 AIO now is like what 100 bucks. Yeah, something like that. 110. Like you should be able to get a pretty pretty good budget AIO and still be pretty good. Um, I'm scared that I'll mess up setting up an AIO. Well, funny enough, you're pretty much watching him right now. Um, good example, we basically mounted the radiator and the fans up top. We're left with our block down here. This is what we're mounting to the CPU itself. Kind of let it just hang out here, kind of chill. Um, you'll eventually add your mounting hardware to this, and just like your air cooler, 
you're going to sandwich it onto your CPU and tighten some screws down. So from an installation standpoint, um, really all you're adding is the radiator and the fans. Um, so if you're in the Evo case, we mount them a lot like this uh, in the back here. You can do the back or the top. Um, basically put the tubes for this distance away, kind of have that nice curve to it, and then just mount it right there on the CPU. Yeah, AIOs definitely are not as scary as a lot of people would assume. Uh, I'm trying to buy a starter PC with a 4060. Could you help me find one? We probably Where's have Drew a at? very similar, <laughs> similar spec RTS right now on our website. Uh, with a uh, 4060 in it. Yeah, we have a bunch of, I think we have a decent amount of, uh, of some of our RTSs mm -hmm. with 4060s and 4060 Ti's in it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. It appears to still be working. There's just not many people on there. Oh yeah, that's clean. Very, very, very clean. This is actually gonna be, I mean, this is gonna be way better than I truly expected from uh, th mm -hmm. this, all this. But while you are here, is there an RTS with a 4060 in it right now? Uh, yeah, I think there's a few. I think there is. Should yeah. be. There should be. Uh, we go to metapcs.com. Uh, there should be some ready to ship options there. Something that contains a 4060 is probably on that list. It's gonna be one of our more budget options. That's a great card. Uh, to stay in a more relevant GPU generation, but still hit a lower end price point. Uh, so I tried both RAM sticks apparently in the RAM slot that I was sure working and both are working So a faulty RAM slot, right? Yeah um, Interesting problem definitely not common um, uh, Is the that the one that's spark and the prowler? Somewhere? What about the uh, go up? What's above the spark? Uh, the Minerva is AMD okay. or three faulty RAM slots. I would try. So if you had your RAM six and two and four, I would try one and three, have both of them in there, and then we'll see if both the sticks work. In that case, I would say it's your motherboard. Um, a 4060 should at least last three years for COD. That's a tricky one, dude. Uh, the 4060 for three years on COD. If you're depends on what resolution you're playing at. If you're working 1080p, I would say you're gonna get at least a year or two out of it. Um, but definitely lean towards that 4070, 4070 Ti option if possible, especially for a AAA title like COD. Um, plenty of games will work on a 4060, but definitely gonna be pushing it a little bit there. Push you. Uh, would you guys be able to ship it to my house even though I live 30 minutes away? Sure, dude. Yeah? yeah. No, we ship everyone's system most of the time unless you're like a local pickup specifically. Yeah. So yeah, we can still make that happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how about a 3080? Um, actually, a, a fantastic question. 3080 stacked up to a 4060. If you're trying to play a AAA game, you probably would benefit from that 3080. Um, that's a, yeah, still a relevant GPU. Still better than what I'm rocking. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, that's a good example of one maybe going a generation backwards is actually pretty beneficial. Again, as long as it's not an overly used card or wasn't used for mining or some other purpose that would like, Degrade the quality of that card. Um, 3080 is a fantastic option. And GPUs and stuff are getting better, but games are not optimizing to keep up with it. So, 30 series is still completely relevant. Yeah. I have a 2080 Ti, and I don't play any new game, and I'm just like, oh shit, I'm struggling. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Uh, lol. I don't know who LUL is. It has a workshop full of parts. Uh, uses a 2080. Yeah, yeah. 2080 is a great card. Um, is the 4070 better than the 3080? Now we're getting a little bit closer. Um, between the 4070 and the 3080, <laughs> you're basically on par now with each other. 
Now what you're looking at is what you're doing with the card. Um, if you're streaming, uh, the 40 series has a better NVENC encoder, um, which is for encoding your live streams. So if you're a streamer, maybe you would want the 4070. Um, I think that would now come down to the price point actually for both. Uh, whichever one's cheaper for you, uh, which one you might benefit more from. Uh, both will perform fantastic at 1080p. I'm pretty sure that 4070 should be able to push 1440p for Mine, some games. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I run 1440p on a 2080 Ti, so I'd imagine 1440p gameplay for sure. I can't see what I'm doing! <sighs> there you go, there you go. <coughs> Are we getting there? Mm -hmm. Um, Sid says they went with the 3070 Ti, awesome GPU. I'm sure that's still very relevant and you can probably upgrade to like a, probably a 5000 series off of that card. Like I'd, I'd imagine you can still get a, a little bit more lifespan out of that. <laughs> Just jam my finger into the side of the case. Yeah, from the 1070 to the 3070, fantastic upgrade. If you go from the 3070 to a 5070, I'm sure it'll be a very similar generationally. Where did I put um, my that, cube? That one to two generation difference in between upgrades is one that you'll for sure feel the difference, I'd imagine. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. That one hung up on for a while, yep. Yeah, 10 series was great, 1070s, 1080 Ti's. Go. Fantastic cards. I love the way this, this computer looks. Yeah, no, I, I keep just staring at the preview screen for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 70s have always been a good middle ground price. That's exactly what they're there to do. Try to give you options and whatever works best for your budget. Um, it's it's going to perform really well. It's gonna do. If I had to upgrade to right do. now and I didn't want to waste my money, I'd be buying a 4070, for sure. TI, if I want to push it just a little bit more, just to say I have it, you know. Hello, Todd. Todd over here creeping on us. He's lurking. He's lurking. It's only been an, an hour, hour and 40 47 minutes. minutes. That's normal. Or at like least three hours power through, like three bills an hour. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> we'll get more. Get the lineup coming through here. Just keep making builds. What do you think? Um, Tiles, quit being a creeper. The more, like Todd. David Cotto. <laughs> Todd, the more we mess with it, the more I like it. Really? Yeah, it's. <laughs> when it comes to the amount of rune they give you, the power supply. Oh my God, look at this, dude. The power supply is pretty good, actually. It might be a good option for a budget power supply. Look, look at this case they gave you for the Travel cables. bag. It's the best one I've seen. And it's got the, it's got the 12 pins, 600 watt, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, case is a shit ton of room. The fans came out. Todd walks in, cue the pretty shop whip noises. <laughs> the fans came out work. really clean. Get back to work. Get back to work. More computers. Um, I can't find your Discord link in the shorts. Really Can you please send it? Um, yeah, the hey only Kyle. thing is these fans. I needed to Hold use on. two controllers. The controllers daisy chain off each other. It oh, says LED in, LED this. out. So like using two controllers kind of sucks for all these fans. It's just more wires. Invite people. More wires, more management I got to do. But all in all, it's pretty good. What happened? I'm trying to give the Discord link. Where are you? Let me know if that works. Where are you? <laughs> I can't find the link. I dropped off sadly. Not bad. I mean, it's like, wow. Yeah, check that uh, that link. Yeah, let me know if it works. I mean, it's, it's way too much of a copy, but all in all, it's not bad. Uh, damn, it's not even straight. The case, I mean. Type of time about Todd. Uh, yeah, and it's kind of like a trapezoid. They couldn't quite infringe on the height uh, yeah, square. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this is how they got around the patent. They were like, yeah. what if we just three, three degrees rules. more? Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, fan of the fans? Okay. Yep. Both these builds rocking some nice fans. You're a huge fan? Huge fan of fans. You are a fan just of like the I'm fans. A, just like cool brands are very cool all the time. Yeah, my wife's going to want this case. This is a very pretty case. Before I even knew it was coming out, she's like, yep. I want an all glass case. How come they don't make that? Uh, did it break? No, did not break. We have yet to have anything break in a minute since the infamous tank. Knock on wood, knock on wood. <laughs> Get on all that wood. Uh, that one's a pretty sexy case, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think both of these honestly are pretty good. I wanna, I wanna hate this one more than I do. Yeah, um, exactly. I think we both are in that we, boat. We came in here wanting to hate it, but yep. it's like... <laughs> That's the fun of this. We do R&D on cases. We open it up and we're like, this is gonna be shit. And that ends up being pretty good. So it's, that's the fun of it. See what hardware works, what's not compatible. Sometimes we'll have to swap out the parts we thought would have worked for something else. The whole case fits in that small bag. Yes, the travel bag was designed for the computer itself. Uh huh. Whoop, 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 whoop. John Tion wants your alcohol. Hmm? They want your alcohol. Uh, your oh, my alcohol? The infamous alcohol box. My alcohol box. It's the only way I can stay concentrated at work. Yeah. A little bit of alcohol is in me. I was thinking you were going to say the PSU came in the case. I wish. Okay, a little SFX power supply or something maybe could fit in there. But. Yeah, no, I, I love it. A little, little travel case. Yep. He's like a little shitty drawstring bag or something. Mm-hmm. Has a whole zipper and everything. Astral Midnight. There's another really badass name. How's it going, Astral man? Astral Midnight. We do a couple of system builds Are here. R and Ding some cases over here. This is a Game DS case. Probably looks very familiar to some other cases out in the industry. Uh, we also have their fans <laughs> and their power supply going into this guy. Um, We're almost done. We're about to turn it on here. Hello in a from sec. Scotland, he says. Awesome, Hello dude. from Scotland. That's badass. Astral Midnight. Um, can I send you a list of my dream PC and you guys can tell me if the PC would be good for gaming? Send it. Let's see it. You better be dreaming large. Uh, thank you for the follow or the sub or the notification just went off. I heard it. I couldn't say it in time. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of slow. It's a free shave bag. That's what, exactly what it is. Hey, yeah. Uh, NJX in the Discord. Awesome, dude. Uh, YouTube chat isn't working for me right now. Yeah, apparently every platform has been having some iffy things going on today. Um, I got some really good thought-provoking PC questions, funnily enough. Thought-provoking? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm all, I'm all for it. Let's hear it. There's not a lot of things that make me think. So. Um, the list is on Amazon. Is that fine? Are you able to just give me, like, a real, bro uh, real rough breakdown of that? Can you just give me, like, the CPU, the memory, the graphics card in the case? Because I'm can... not going to pull up anything on my phone. All the other things I can probably imagine. I'll see the, the overall tier. We'll, we'll go back and forth on it. New follower, almost master 756. Hello, hello. Self made rebel gaming. Welcome to stream. Welcome to chat. Dude. Self made. How's it going? How's everyone doing on this fine Thursday? Fine Thursday. Are we finally getting off of work? Hopefully, we are here shortly. We'll go play some games and stuff and such. not the cleanest, but it's a ton of weird fan wires and controllers. Yeah, I would have made like a controller sandwich. I would have just started like gluing I thought together. about that. I thought about that. I did. I really did. Then I thought about just like uh, sandwiching them all down here. Down here yeah, then that's what it was. Like the strimmer. So I was like, eh. They need extension cables for the wires that come off the strimmers. Yeah. They're very short. I don't really get you anywhere that you want to be. I don't, I don't have any of my fancy Velcro straps to make it look cleaner. 
Let's just say fuck it. Let's uh, let's turn it on and see if it works. We said done. Oh wow, some, Astral Midnight. Move some stuff out of the let's way. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I walked away for just a second. Uh, so I currently have a Ryzen 5 3400G and a sad little 1050Ti, which to its credit has done me good. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, looking to upgrade. Uh oh. Uh, that obviously I was looking at either upgrading to a 6600 XT. What did it do? I wanted to turn it off. Oh. Oh, do you need the cable? Yeah. Is that on the wire? That's unfortunate. Definitely more somewhere. Um, there it's off. One second. I was looking at either upgrading the card to a 6600 XT or the CPU to a Ryzen 7 1800X or the Ryzen 5 5800X. Oh, I don't think you meant right. 1800X. That's definitely not a CPU. I've, um, said, I've said this a million times. I can't promise everything's going to work at once. CPU upgrade first or GPU upgrade first? Oh, huh. so look, some of the fans... Are we mostly playing CPU or GPU intensive games? That'd be a good question. Damn, those for you, okay, there are. They do ramp up immediately. They do. Wow. Uh, turn it on, turn it on. Absolutely, we're getting there. Uh, I thought your PC would be super high instead of an RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah, um, it's kind of funny. I, the more I work in the PC industry, uh, it used to start initially, it was all about my build. Uh, I did sponsored. PC modding, so they would send me products and different components to build my own system and make it look as crazy and flashy high-end as I could possibly make it. Um, over the years, it ended up becoming more about everyone else's system because they were like, how can I make mine look like that? So as I started focusing on everyone else's builds, mine just became the same 2080 Ti system and I started caring less and less about it and put all that effort into everyone else's system. So for what little gaming I do, it's a fantastic system, but of course, always itching to have some new new. So, only two of the fans in this bottom controller. The are 1800X is an eight core 12 thread at 3.2. I really am not familiar with that CPU. That's really fascinating. Uh, GPU intensive, I would say, but the better the CPU, the more it can handle GPU workloads. Of course, you don't want to bottleneck one or the other. Man, that is tricky. I mean, you at least have a good upgrade path there because you're Ryzen 5. You can upgrade CPUs. Okay. I think you do the GPU upgrade. So why are... Only because... Uh, I mean, Ryzen 5 is already so good, though. It's not even, there's no point in changing Ryzen generations. Man, that is a really thought... Like you said, a good thought-provoking question. Uh, I also have a B450F motherboard. It's different looking than AMD build. Those yeah, incredibly dude. loud. Uh, do you think having an NVIDIA GTX card instead of an RTX is a big difference? Yes. Uh, because if you have a GTX card, that means it's not it's not newer than the 10 series. Right? GTX stopped in the 10 series, and now RTX is the 20 series and beyond. What? If you have a GTX card, it's the newest is a 10 series, right? That could be? For RTX? GTX, yes. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. yeah, okay, perfect. So, yeah, if, if you're still rocking a 10 series, so you definitely got an older GPU there. Definitely plenty of upgrade paths for that. Yep. So it also says upgrade with the GPU and maybe consider the X3D. Exactly. If that gives you a little more time to push for an even higher end CPU, you can do that 5800 X3D in that board. And that's a hell of a CPU. Uh, upgrade the card first. That way you can. Uh, can that handle my 3400G though? It's it's gonna be the same. It's something's gonna bottleneck something in that system if you're trying to upgrade. I would again start with this GPU and maybe that'll help you push towards even a higher end CPU. Um, vice versa. Either way, I feel like you can't go wrong with that. Um, do you trust Galax GPUs? You know, I've seen them a lot. I haven't personally worked with Galax cards before. I don't know if I've ever heard of them. They're like a European brand, so we wouldn't get them. We don't stock them here in the US. They're quite hard to get actually here. Um, but I've seen some pretty high-end builds with it. I'd imagine they don't have too many issues. I don't know about like their support and their warranties and all of that type of stuff, but that'd be fine. Uh, NJ, I gotta go, see ya. Thank you for stopping by, sir. Best of luck with your uh, Dell Optiplex and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these controllers are daisy chainable. 
That didn't. It did not work out very really well. All right. Let me see. Let me see if that works. Financial wise, I saw that the 1800X going for around $100. So I could technically do that plus the 6600XT. Any bottleneck there by chance? Again, I'm. Do you know about the 1800X AMD chip? Oh, well, they're still. They're still not working. Well, I'll let uh, Connor sort out this technical thing. Yeah, they see these, these controllers. This, for some reason, these are not working. What was the question? The Ryzen 7 1800X. Uh, what is that? Well, I'm so not familiar with this. Yeah, I, I have no clue what you're talking about. It's a Ryzen 7 CPU. The 1800X is an eight core, launched in 2017. Uh, I mean, just based off of pure uh, core and clock speed and all that, I think you'd be fine with that GPU choice. Definitely an older GP or older CPU, but for a hundred bucks, yeah. Yeah, exactly what uh, Emiliano is saying. For 100 bucks, the 8-core 12 thread, I feel like you probably can't go wrong with. I just realized the cube's not lit up either. Uh, and yeah, if it ends up not working, 100 bucks. At least you got some, some science out of it, you know? Uh, I've got an i7-8700K with a 1080. Makes sense. That's about right. Uh, and 16 gigs, and pairing those actually gets 100 plus frames. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, the 8000 series Intel with a 10 series uh, NVIDIA card. That was, I've done many, many of those systems. Uh, honestly, a really good build. Uh, that CPU probably will still last you a little while. That 16 gigs of memory can probably be easily upgraded to 32. Um, and yeah, 1080 is a, uh, yeah, awesome card. Yeah, uh, Bird Box says the 1080 is fire. I had one and I sold it for 85 bucks. That's still a great card, man. 85 bucks for a 1080. That's a good deal. Uh, do you guys rely on the bottleneck calculator online? Not necessarily, but it, for your situation with that 1800... Actually, Kyle, while you're here, yep. do you know what the Ryzen 7 1800X is? Because I didn't until five minutes ago. 1800X? Yeah. It's an 8-core, 12 thread, and this dude can get it for 100 bucks. And I said, just based off of that, it's probably worth it. I have no idea that existed. I mean, so yeah, if you're looking at the bottleneck calculator, it's probably a good time to use that tool. When did that come out? Uh, Six years ago. Five years ago or something? Yeah. Is that like the beginning of AM4? I believe AM5? Is it AM4? Uh, AM4. Interesting. Uh, this is my first time being here and I literally just got you learning more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, oh, I'm in, I was in the same boat of like anti AMD everything for years and years. I was, I was a part of that. Um, but yeah, not until AM5 and their newer CPUs and GPUs have I actually gotten familiar with everything that they offer, um, especially from like a consumer perspective of that. So AM4 CPU, like Kato just mentioned, uh, yeah, not a... I'm not entirely familiar with AM4 procs. There's too many of them. That's just that normal one. Yeah. I don't know, like, I see something like that. It's like, yeah. And it's for a very specific situation where you can get it for 100 bucks as a temporary CPU upgrade while he upgrades his card. Super, super niche, super specific, but for 100 bucks. And it's a just working CPU. Have something while he's yeah, on exactly. And then he can get a better CPU after that, like a Ryzen 5 or a, you know, something new. Sorry, an AM5 something. Oh, an AM5? Yeah. I mean, something to hold them over for a little bit. That's what I mean. Why the hell not? Exactly. For 100 bucks, go yeah. for it. And even if, I mean, in that sense, it's like, okay, even if you have like a little bit of a bottleneck for like a month or something while you're getting your AM5 filled up, like yep. whatever, 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Like how often do you use your game? Do you game every day? Yeah, and then I also ask CPU or GPU intensive games are more on the GPU yeah. side, so I push for more of the GPU upgrade instead. So yeah, we're pretty much on the same track there. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Sora says, what exactly does bottleneck mean? I never know. Um, basically means that when one component in your, uh, in your build is limiting another, um, so either your CPU is not hitting full clocks because of something else, could be a motherboard, could be memory. Uh, it could be a GPU not hitting its full clock because of a CPU or a PCIe slot limitation, motherboard. 
um, kind of keeping specs within a general tier. You don't want a super low end CPU and a 4090, and you don't want a, uh, a, a 1060 and an i9, <laughs> vice versa. Uh, now you can't shove away the AMD, especially with their 2017 RX 580 and annihilates most. RX 580 was a great card, yeah. I mostly worked in like the higher end stuff. I do all the water cooling, custom mods, show build type stuff. So I was typically working in like higher end NVIDIA Intel because that's what everyone wants to see. Um, they didn't have a reason to dive into much of the more budget consumer AM4 stuff. Uh, how do you know something's bottlenecking? Uh, typically with your hardware, you'll know a general clock speed or something it needs to be running around. Um, if you're running off of like the clock of your CPU in a benchmark, uh, your memory clocks during something. You can test all those uh, various programs out there for different components. Why are those fans at Mach 3? <laughs> I do not know. They won't, they won't, um, <clears throat> the fans are non-responsive to their own remotes and their own controllers. Yep. Also on that note, if you do use any bottleneck calculator online, you want anything less than 5% bottleneck, otherwise it doesn't affect performance. Uh, I would agree with that. It's probably a little more situational, but yeah, I mean, you definitely want the minimal amount as possible. I'm gonna get a little... Did the remote for the fans not do anything? Nope, Where neither of them remote? do. So it could be a... Um, Where remote? Oh. A motherboard. It could be like a, a system thing once you get into the... Do they turn on and off with the remote? Nope. No, I, don't think, yeah, remote so, well, I think since they're plugged into the motherboard, we need to get into the motherboard. Oh, there's no batteries in your remote. Oh! Well, that's why. Well, they didn't. In they didn't <laughs> include any batteries. I wonder why the remotes don't work. There's no batteries in them. <laughs> they didn't include any. <laughs> hey, you gotta get your own batteries for this computer. Battery is uh, not included. I wonder yep. if the Asia neither remote has any batteries. But hey, the remotes had the plastic you have to pull out. Hey, and good news, they're not on the same frequency as the Asia horse. As the Asia horse, they are the same battery though. So there you go. Um, it had the plastic. You know you gotta pull that little plastic tab to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. That was in there still? That was in there, yeah. That's hilarious. I pulled them both. Um, also, lots of types of bottlenecks on always hardware. It can also be bottleneck uh, in itself with limitations of hardware. Yeah, no, exactly. Plenty of games are not optimized. Even for the current highest-gen hardware, you can buy an i9. Ah! There, it sounds a there lot better. There we go. Now. You can do an i9-4090 system and still have shitty frames in a game just because the game is poorly made to actually utilize all of that hardware. Um, a very situational thing. Uh, 128 gigs most of the time. Yep, that's uh, not a lot of things are going to utilize that. There we go. Man, I can't believe they didn't even provide uh, her. If own. your bottleneck is the CPU, though, you can either upgrade the card or the motherboard. In most cases, you can probably better off upgrading the CPU. Uh, yeah, you're kind of correct on that. Uh, CPU upgrades lately are a little bit trickier because they're probably going to require uh, motherboard and memory. Um, especially going from AM4 or older Intel. A lot of boards now are DDR5. We're definitely going to have further uh, Z790 chipset. Um, yeah. I can't believe they didn't provide your own batteries. That's hilarious. Like, you serious? No one actually has these batteries laying around in your house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless it's a server. One, yeah, 128 gig servers makes perfect sense. 128 gig. There. Otherwise, it's, yeah. Let's put that back to red. Um, I can't imagine the performance of 128 gigs, and yeah, and most of the time it's going to be less than what you'd expect. Um, sometimes the higher capacity memory, the lower speeds you want or will have to have, especially with DDR5, you probably won't be able to XMP your quad channel just yet. Some brands are just now getting into quad channel DDR5 with XMP, otherwise you're running at a slower speed with that. Uh, build compatibility has been my weakest point of knowledge, I think. Dude, that's definitely one of the trickiest. We get questions all day, every day about this component compared to that component or this 10-year-old AMD thing versus this 8-year-old Intel thing. Like, it's so much, so much knowledge out there to know about all of that. Uh, gifted sub, hey, Ryan, how's it going? I don't know if you gifted sub to someone or if a sub got gifted to you, but either way, absolutely awesome. Computer Charles, how's it going? Computer Charles. Uh, I'm more of the software guy that knows some about good hardware is, yeah, and I'm the aesthetics guy. So I was doing the water cooling and the case modding and just making it visually look as crazy as possible. Uh, also not as super in-depth in the hardware, especially not the software side. The software side for me is the newest. Um, now that I do all of the system build from the start to QCing, I need to know a lot about specific components, what like 
uh, BIOS settings and updates and uh, chipset updates and having everything ready for motherboards of different generations. And yeah, all that stuff. Love you guys. We love you too. Thank you for stopping by the stream. So how's the build look? All good. All done. Yeah, we a got little, the a little technical difficulties with the controllers, with the, with the fan controllers. Can we change what the cables are doing and I'll dim the lights here? Yeah, I can do it. I just put everything to red. He would cry man tears if you saw my PC look. It's very outdated, obviously built with 2017-2018 hardware. Not a problem, dude. I've, I'm sure I've seen Ooh. crazier shit come through the doors here Ooh. than what you got. We've seen some, some weird things. Uh, let me see, front white. Yeah, you turned on those lights back there. What the? Those were not the lights I thought those were. How did that not move these lights? That's awkward. Why is it pulling different you lights? It. You can't turn off the lights. Apparently we're stuck, not. We're stuck in the brightness yeah, forever. Yeah, apparently. Woo! Oh, that's the group for these. Ah! Interesting. Ah, it's so dark. There yeah, you go. Turn them off. Turn them off all the way off. Yeah. Damn. Dude, that looks cool. There you go. That looks a pretty neat -o. Uh, I don't know if it's appropriate to ask this type of question, but do you guys have any career opportunities available? Um, we... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess hinges will do that. Um, no, no, not a bad question at all. We, uh, we have job listings on the website every now and again. Uh, going into the holidays, if you're local to the Phoenix area, we might be looking for some builders of sorts Ooh. here soon. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye out for that. And when we are hiring, it'll uh, be updated there. Sometimes we also do like a Twitter post. We'll do like a social thing saying like, hey guys, hiring for this or the other. Um, but I'm not sure if we are at this exact moment. Oh wait, I think I gotta, I gotta close this one first. Uh, you close honestly, any software door. that you do not need is not worth down. Honestly, any software that you do not need is not worth downloading. Absolutely. For sure. Uh, and yeah, with our uh, pre-built systems, we do not add any type of weird bloatware, extra program, software, things that you would want to delete anyway. We just don't give it to you because we know you don't want it. <laughs> if we don't want it, you if don't want it. We don't want it, you don't want it. We don't want to look with it. We don't want to deal with it. Install it every time so you don't have to worry about it. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, you got any remote positions? Uh, we got some remote people, but they're super niche, and I think they're fulfilling their positions pretty damn well. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's a clean build. Can we make it? Uh, can we go toaster oven form real quick? Toaster oven form. Can we, can we transform it into a toaster oven? Yes, we can. Perfect. So, uh, you also need to be careful with bloatware because of the end user agreement violating rights. Absolutely. This, that is also uh, part of why we do not install extra bullshit. The back panel of this case comes with pads, and they say if you wanted to, you can run your computer like this. Kata was an excellent point, which I was going to talk about. These RGB fans over here, super minimal. Like the RGB lighting on them is just that little ring around it, instead of being like the fans and the blades and the everything like this build was over here. And the door hinging is pretty hilarious. Can you is it preheated? Can I slide my like pizza rolls in? Can you put your name on it? Oh, I got my name on it. <laughs> oh, that build is spicy. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I would prefer it to be landscape for the airflow. Why not? Why not? Why I'll let you do either not? one. Smell the baked goods. Yeah, I'd love to have some cookies in there while I'm gaming, and you can smell that. Ooh. Here, oh, here. Oh, uh, Brooke. I'm my single. How's it going? Oh, well, nice doors exactly. It's I mean, okay. you said landscape for the airflow. Technically, this is the same thing. Three on the bottom, three on the sides. Oh, yeah, it is. And then one kind of suffocated from yeah. the bottom there. So, yeah, pretty marginal. If you do it landscape, it's still three on the bottom, three, in, three. In, in it's testing, almost, I don't know if you'd see a difference. Yeah, it's almost, yeah, it's, it's almost the exact same orientation no matter uh, either way. I really love the designs you guys do for your PC builds. Uh, you mean like our case prints and like our extra things? Because those are pretty cool. We put a lot of effort into those. I guess the only difference is there's no hot air going up. True. It, this would be the only way out for that. 
Yeah, well, that's still safe. I'd say for testing wise. Put a 4090 in it and roast some marshmallows. Absolutely could. Um, but yeah, Ryan, we got some new uh, case print designs coming out for our Evo cases on our website. We'll also have some updated back plates. Uh, we still have all of our like cable customization options, and pretty much the sky is the limit with printing. So, we even got some customers that want like a couple one-off, unique images. So we've got some artists commissioned right now. They're whipping up some new designs for us, and they should look really Whip good. Whip it up, going down. We actually got two customers Whip that they just up. wanted a one-off thing, so they uh, hired an artist. So I'm working with their artist, and make some cool designs happen. We can do it all. We can do it. Awesome build. Strimmer, strimmer. Yes, yes. It's a good case for it. Oi! Deleted, one, two, two. Hello. Hello, hello. Deleted. Too, too bad you guys don't ship overseas. Unfortunately, we don't. I like uh, sleeper PCs more, so if I can save some money and build it myself. Uh, did you see the uh, sleeper build from the start of the stream, by any oh, chance? No. If not, I can bring it back out here real quick. Bring it. Go get it. Oh, Jesus, that is unexpected. <laughs> So Those lights. damn bright. Those lights hurt my lights face. Lights are brighter than my future. I did not. Well, I got you. One second. Let me find the home for the vision. Oh. Um, and then we were working with this guy. This is my world this of guy. things. Uh, this is a custom painted Alienware. I think this is the Area 51 case, I believe. Um, this was painted like a World War, I'm going to say, one. Three. Fighter jet. World War Three fighter jet. Um, yeah, so it's got this awesome uh, hand airbrush that designed to it so much detail in this artwork. Um, and so we didn't want to do anything to the externals. So I gutted out the inside. And I put a kind of a sleeper water cool build in there. So there is a bottom 240, a top 120 radiator. So essentially a really thick 360 millimeter radiator to support that i7 and a 4070 Ti. A P51 Mustang, yeah, yep. Um, so I did a little bit of modding. I can't really take the panels off too well, but uh, Basically gutted out everything in the front here just to allow airflow to go through, added new fan radiator mounting, added fan grills and textures on the outside, and uh, yeah. It actually works very well, like performance-wise, even with the side panel on versus off is like a one to two degree difference, which means the water cooling is doing a fantastic job of absorbing all of that heat into the radiators and then exhausting out the back. Um, yeah, overall, it was a fun little project. Uh, do you guys ship components internationally? Unfortunately, no. Uh, we don't really sell components individually either. Um, can we see the paint job on the other side? Yes. So the side panel that would be here is... It's that panel right there. It's kind of a pain in the ass to install, so I'm just going to hold it right here. <laughs> and then, yeah, so it has a little hinging door and the little release right here. Still no robot dog, but it's very nice. Yeah, no. I don't think a robot dog's ever gonna happen again. I don't think it'll ever happen again. <laughs> I do have some similar high-end projects coming up though here soon. Damn, those fans get loud. Those are some intense fans. Good airflow though, they're like high pressure fans. Very good airflow. <laughs> That's a shame, otherwise I would have just thrown my entire wallet at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And then, of course, in the front you have like the fresh 120 intake there going through the radiator. Open it up, give it some more airflow. Again, yeah. panels being on or off this case made much less of a difference than I was expecting. So even this panel on and off, side panel on and off. You gotta put your name on it. We're talking minimal couple degree difference. Put your name on it. Rob by Jane, how's it going? Morning stream, welcome to chat. Um, I got a sleeper PC in an old NZXT case, like a 220 or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a look at the back of this again. Spray paint. It smells like oh, paint. Oh, yeah, you still can kind of smell the spray paint. smells like paint. paint. Yeah, I did another coat of uh, black paint on the inside of this guy. Make it real dark. The same guy that real painted black. the outside here did not paint the uh, inner frame. Uh, so it's starting to kind of 
peel off and flake a bit, so I just took a can of black rustoleum and I just Need gave some. it one more once over after once I cut up yeah. the front of Looks it. Looks good. Yep. It's, it's a little a look, Looking like good. Uh, the fans sound like an AC when turned up. Those yeah, fans it, get it, loud it really, when you turn really them do, up. Yeah. They move a lot of air though, but definitely not the quietest. Curious to see how expensive those RGB fans were. They came with a controller, and it's a three-pack. You know what? Right? I mean, it's worth. Uh, it's a four-pack. Four-pack, so yeah. Let's look this up on uh, on the interwebs. Yeah, that's super minimal. It's a whole water cooling loop. Sounds like an A10 Warthog. Exactly. Yeah. The ZMT tubing in this guy. That, that's the matte black EK tubing that's linking all the components. Super nice. Uh, Astro Midnight says, I got a friend calling me for some Overwatch, so I gotta go. Call has made me, uh, call has been made and I'm gonna say contract must be done. Yeah, no, of course, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for asking questions about your, uh, your components and all that. Hopefully we see you for our next stream. We'll be live again next Tuesday, actually. Uh, we'll be here for Thanksgiving, so. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, enjoy Overwatch. We'll catch you next time. Um, yeah, we're pretty much winding down stream anyway, so anyone else has any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to check out either of these two builds a little bit more in depth, let me know. Um, we're pretty much just winding down here in the next few minutes. Alios M3. M3 fans. Alias, as I, Ali, Aerolus, A-E-O-L. Aerolus. There's no R in there. <laughs> there is now. The Areola fans. <laughs> M3. Oh, there we go. There's the four pack. Quanta Space Force. Uh, PC part picker. M3 124R. Uh, 60 bucks for the four pack. It's not bad. Four RGB fans, 60 bucks. Yeah. I mean, three Lee and Lee fans are like 150 bucks. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, PC Purple Picker has oh, 60, 62.57. That's, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I take. 2,000 RPM. No wonder. Damn. Awesome, awesome. I'm not seeing any other questions, comments, or concerns, so I'm going to wind yeah, down the stream down. here. Uh, it's been a fun shut one. Shut her down. Uh, I just had to say I watched Operator Drewski last week, and then he decided to raid you guys, and then I'm saying I'm glad he did, because it's nice to just chill here. Absolutely, dude. Thank you for stopping by. We love bringing in all of our content creators, audiences together uh, to one place and show off some cool shit. So happy to have you here. Um, Pubert. Pubert. Love you guys. Be safe. Right back at you. No promises. <laughs> Everyone, enjoy I'm your boring. weekends. Play some games. Boring. Enjoy those builds of yours. Um, and yeah, we will catch you on Tuesday. We have a pretty cool stuff. stream actually with Verizon. Um, I'm doing a collaboration so build with them that I need to get on pretty soon here because it needs to happen on Tuesday. Uh, so, yeah. Who uh, is the CEO of this company? Um, Zach. Have you ever heard of Meta? <laughs> There's a guy named Mark. No, I'm just kidding. Not that one. The other is <laughs> a, different, a different Meta. Uh, Zach Schutt uh, is the owner. And then Kyle Austin is a good management owner team of this company. And they're all fantastic fellows. So. Nah, that's a strong wording. <laughs> well, awesome, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Again, we'll be live next Tuesday. So hopefully we will see you there. And uh, adios. Okay, bye-bye.